<laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy, I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy! You're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma... No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Okay, I think we're good. We're on, we're on everything. Reset up everything just fine. Life is okay. Sorry, hi folks. Hi friends. Hi loved ones. I 
I'm finally back here. <laughs> it's actually going to be you another... Parker words. What are words anymore? It was really fun. So I did a charity stream over the weekend and um, people learned firsthand that I am not good with words. You would think. I would be. I'm not. By a certain point in every day and by that I mean when I wake up I cease to be good at words. Parker, why are you putting on lip gloss? I don't know. Anyways, welcome back. We're going to get into this. God, it feels so quiet, but it's because I need to launch this game right now. Um, come on. Do -do. There we go. Okay. We should be good in like a second and we get our dope music back and life is grand. Life is good. Life is life is life. But clearly back on my own channel and which is good no it's great it's fine <laughs> i didn't mean to sound questioning i it's just nice to be back into using all of my own usual overlays and displays and stuff like that i don't mind streaming other people's channels i just i like having a certain level of creative flair if we haven't noticed with all the goddamn sparkles on this thing oh mama anyways we're gonna get right back into this game i will kick this off with um we're in L5. Okay, that's what I thought. So the big thing that I wanted to note, and I'm going to repeat this a few times uh, during over the course of this, I think Chapter 5 ends fine. Chapter 6 is where I recognize... I, so I found recently, over the last few days, um, the developers have put out a list of... They did spoiler-free, and then, like, spe scene-specific, scene like, not spoilery, but kind of gives you a good idea. But, like all of the content warnings. Um, so I found the content warnings. They're actually getting embedded into some future updates, uh, especially for chapter six. So when we hit that, we will do a big blanket warning. Um, and yeah, and kind of go from there because I don't want to get worried. I don't want to buy the heart. So we'll talk it out. We'll keep a constant communication going. And I will repeat this when people are here. Uh, <laughs> or when more people are here. No, no, no shame to the lurkers. It's fine. Um, so we're going to get into this. But yeah, I just knew that I think by the end of last session, we were nearing the end of this chapter. I just didn't have the wherewithal to push through. Um... So I feel like we're going to start chapter six and I feel like today and tomorrow are going to be heavy days. Um, so we're going to get through it together and yeah, that's where we're at. Oh yeah. Fuck. I remember where we left off. Iris bullied me into making life choices. Rude of her, if you ask me. Anyways, we'll get there. Um... I had any sense, I'd be back headed to my own hotel for a good night's sleep. The exhibition matched our arch rivals going down tomorrow morning. The, the exhibition match against our arch rivals is going down tomorrow morning. But I can't rest my head just yet. I've got a big decision to make. A big, fat, juicy, romantic. Why did why juicy? Why did it need to be juicy? We didn't need that. That's been weighing on my mind all day long. Oh god, this is like literally before I have to make a life choice. Wow. Let's see why I finished it. Ugh. Aside, my phone's been my phone's been busy keeping me keeping my phone's busy beeping away in my pocket rather insistently like a wake up alarm for the soul. Broke, you know it is now 7 p.m. You know what that means, date time. I'm still pondering, pondering who to approach or if I want to approach anyone at all. That's okay, the night is still young. Uh, you should probably decide soon though. So we're gonna save right over this one. This is going to be the quintessential save for when I eventually come back and <laughs> play this out with several other people. Yeah, only so many hours before the park closes. I know, I know, I know, I know. Stop bullying me, Iris. Would it help if I offer you more rela <clears throat> relationship metrics? It may help guide your decision. Can't hurt, I guess. Sure, throw some numbers at me. So, I've adjusted my internal metrics based on how well your personality meshes with everyone on the team. Let's see. Okay, this is cool. So, you can't really see who these three are, I've realized. 
Um, so this one is Domino, which is on par with Rhapsody right now. Uh, that is Zapper, that is Grace, that is Jinx, obviously, then Rhapsody, and then... We know. My boy. Hooray for high schoolers, I guess. Love isn't a game, Rogue. You wanna bet? Pretty sure it is. Love, except even if I have to interpret it through floating point mathematics. Remember, the reason my numbers exist is because of human decisions. You chose who you wanted to spend time with, and they chose how to react to you. This isn't about having a high score, not with that attitude. It's about your free will and your heart, right? Right, right. So, here's how things have shifted based on what sort of person you've become. Domino wants to believe in human kindness. Fortunately, you're a kindly sort of human. When it comes to bold risk taking, you and Zapper share the same approach to life. You're both gutsy. A, long, a kind heart goes a long way with grace and your kindly nature suits that perfectly. Jinx isn't afraid to speak her mind, making her very gutsy. You're a bit gutsy too. I am pretty gutsy. I just chose differently for the last little bit. So sue me. When it comes to being gutsy crusader and a kindly supporter of compassionate causes, you and Loxley share the same ideals. Yeah, pretty much. And that's everyone who matches your personality. I'm sorry, so all of them? Am I doing great for once? And I have all of them into me? This is wonderful. You didn't ma Oh, Rhapsody! Fair. Oh, Rhapsody is sort of your psychological opposite, but that doesn't mean you don't get along, right? Just no bonus points. So after all those calculations, I can definitely say you're a fine match for... Loxley, Jinx, and Domino. Oh, yeah, so basically my top three? Got it. Got it. Okay, we're gonna go through Goth Girl and Sad Boy playthroughs another time. Uh, this is this is the starting of the age of, I guess, our Robin Hood. I don't know. I have no I have no fun nickname for Loxley. Because he's so on the nose as it is. You have a 99.97 chance of romantic success with all three of them. And you know what? And, oh. And what do you know? There's Loxley. Exactly as I planned. <laughs> and so on. No, I planned for all of this. Clearly, you two have a bright future together. If you want to go ahead with that plan, of course, no pressure. Okay, with all that taken care of, it's time for romance. Right, I'm ready to decide. Great, and before you take this big step, do you want me to go back up your save data? Save the goddamn game, Iris. Okay, we're good. Here we go. Of all those close to you, whom do you want to share your heart with? Yeah, so you can quite literally still choose everybody except, I guess, your rival. Huh. Maybe it's because I had no conversations with them. All right, we know this is this is Operation L for Loxley. Let's do this. Has to be Loxley, right? He's already devoted so much of himself to me and my dreams. His nightly ideals of respect distant... Respect... His nightly ideals of respectfully distant love have kept things pretty low-key beyond, like, oaths or something. But I'm thinking this could work. Tis a valid point, forsooth. Please don't do that. It's a valid point, I agree. There we go. I'll pocket my phone for the time being and seek out our local charismatic ruffian. Honestly, I just a sucker for the hair. If they have gorgeous hair, I'm kind of, I'm weak. It's a lie, actually. I know exactly what... I know exactly what does it for me. It's really entertaining, but it doesn't necessarily factor in a video game. Sup, baby? <laughs> should not do that. <sighs> I find him gazing wistfully across the lake at the center of the park, pondering the evening ahead of him. Time to make that evening more interesting. Don't say no, I can't handle rejection. Okay? Sir Loxley, your retainer calls you to service. Hi, Loxley. How are you tonight? Mm, quite well, quite well. It's been a wonderful day. Spent in the company of wonderful individuals. Wow, this is... Okay, I... This is kind of hilarious. I haven't asked anybody out in fucking forever, so it's really funny. Um, If you're interested, I think I know a way to make it more wonderful. So this is going to be as awkward as it would be with me in IRL. Loxley, would you do me the honor of going out with me tonight? I... Been interested in you for quite some time. Is that the case? You make this sound like you weren't. If you weren't expecting this, I have other concerns, namely with my flirting skills. 
You need but ask, Rogue. You need but ask. And he makes a sweeping bow, which drops him to to one knee before me. He gently takes my hand in his. Oh. I am honored. Truly honored. Look at him! He's so cute when he blushes! I've always felt we share a certain kinship, akin to bonds of battle, but hesitated to seek anything further out of respect. God, what a good boy. And the not so small matter of my loyalty to the Iris Collective my allies who operate it that likely posed an obstacle yes i'm not gonna lie one of my favorite parts about his outfit is this cute little teddy bear hey bk i know i'm honored is not a yes we would like a clear definitive answer if you don't mind that would be great you're you, so far this is like the most anxiety inducing one ever because there's no i, I need enthusiastic consent Otherwise, we're in danger, son. How are you doing? Hey, Jem. How's it going? Welcome to... I don't know if I'm getting rejected or not by Loxley. <laughs> oh, how are y'all doing? How's it going? Oh, good. Oh, good. Ow. I just cracked my back. I don't think anybody could hear it because it was a weird crunching noise instead. Yep, I called it he was keeping his distance intentionally. Is it a yes? Enthusiastic consent is key. Oh, good, my pixel chat is working again. I feel like my pixel chat wasn't working last week, and so I've got it fixed now. I don't know what was going on, but like usual, I blame OBS. Except I love you, OBS. Please don't betray me this today. I would like it if you could kindly not. Just being a jerk the other night. in our circle and if you know all of that and still your heart is set on this course <laughs> welcome to this week's episode of is it a crack joint or a slip disc only time will tell oh love getting older it's no it's not fun i had a i had, I had quite literally my boss asked me today she's like how's it going and i'm like well I would strongly prefer to rage quit life and go live in a cabin in the woods. <laughs> I'm not sure how she feels about that answer for me. <laughs> in the sense of, I don't know if she's just worried or if she just wants to join me. We're going there. It's good times. But yeah, crack joint or slip disc. Oh God, hopefully not. Hopefully not the latter. That'd be weird. Can you imagine? I'm sure somebody's, I, like, I'm sure somebody who's watching has heard this and it's fine, but. Also, Loxley, I swear to God, I need, I need, I have put forth my enthusiastic consent. Could you please return the favor to sway, assuage my anxiety here? Then I gratefully accept. Could you do better than that? Uh, thank you, Loxley. You can stand up now. No, no, no need to bow or scrape. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Part of my dramatic instinct. Now then, to the matter of a romantic evening with this lovely commercial paradise. Yeah, this is it. I know! Gratefully accept is not! That sounds like something you say. Okay. Too real, but this sounds like something I have said to somebody who I have not wanted to... I'm like, it's the whole... Yeah, okay, I'll give them a chance. Because maybe this will turn out decent. Or I say it because I'm afraid. Actually, no, then I respectfully decline. That is typically. Those ones, if I'm afraid, I'm like, oh, respectfully, I'm gonna have to decline. I'm just not interested right now. Um, but gratefully accept feels like a job offer. It is, it's not good. We're gonna have to work on this boy's uh, formal formalness. Fortunately for you, I have planned for such a contingency. Marion! What do you mean contingency? Marion online. <laughs> it's a good thing I have other save files. We're gonna see how sad boy and golf girlfriend go later. I know, contingency. Engage, engage romantic preparation package seven alpha. Seven? How many of these do you have prepared, sir? I have questions. I have quite a few questions. 
What? Error! I'm... How, how you plan for when hot people spontaneous... I mean, like... Damn. That's, like... How often does it happen that you've needed these? Or how hopeful are you? You are in one of two buckets. Either your ego is so massive that you've just revised these regardless, or you are just an absolute control freak and are prepared for every goddamn situation. I don't know which. I think he's in the latter, but still. Error! I'm afraid a limousine won't fit through the gates of Pengi Paradise, my lord. Never mind, I'm leaning towards the ego. A bit concerning, that. <sighs> True, that would be a complication. I know, Marion, what do you, what is, Marion, yeah, yes. I don't know if you saw this last time, her, uh, her, his iris is named Marion. Oh yeah, yeah, you're welcome. You are, you are welcome. It is, it's so on the nose, I can't stop laughing. <coughs> I have no idea. I do have questions. I have several questions. Nevertheless, I feel Alpha 7 is the choice for the perfect evening. Adapt as needs be, Marion. Huzzah! It shall be so. Should I ask exactly what Romantic Preparation Package 7 Alpha is? I'm- okay, no. I'm wanting Romantic Preparation Package 1 through 6 Alpha, Beta, and Delta, or however further into the alphabet you go. Because that already indicates that there is at least seven plans that have been pre-prepared. But if you're using Alpha, that must mean that you have, like, Beta, Ga like, you've got additional ones. I am cur- I, like, there is a part of me that respects that level of organization. However, I am also terrified. No, no. Spoilers. Okay. I shall rise to this challenge. I do love a surprise. I don't get a lot of them. My question is, why the fuck are on seven already? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's also fair. Could we? Could, I guess. Do we not normally? Maybe seven is a starting point, and we work our way to one. Maybe it goes in that order. Maybe that is like the entry level, and then. Maybe he thinks, maybe, he, okay. Maybe he's a dating mastermind. I don't know. I'm very single. We already know this about my life. Um, what if, so he goes seven, six, five, three, two, and one is obviously like you're planning to propose. But then out, like, if you break it down, I just, I have no idea. I am a challenge. Let's be real here. He's just calling a spade a spade. <laughs> but <laughs> not with that attitude. <laughs> not a way. Ooh, um, I beg to differ. A date is not a challenge. Mm. Would disagree. I've had a rough go. Um, I've had a weird life. I'm just gonna leave that there. <laughs> what if that it's like progressing downwards and so he's got kind of a seven stage like dating, like courtship plan. And so each of those are different options at that stage. So we actually work back, we work down towards one. One being obviously the end gold. Yeah, same. I, yeah. It's, it's been a hot minute. Yeah, it's all good. So actually, like, there is some really interesting, like, logistics to this, but I think that thinks it through far too much and I am not that logistically minded. Uh, I love logistics. I love planning. I love preparation. However... Do I have like a multitude of date ideas depending on this, like the, the intensity of said date? Yes. Do I have them pre-programmed into an AI platform? No. I don't even have it written out. It all lives here. That's all. Uh, but have faith. Tonight will be the most romantic and most wonderful night of your life. One hour later. <laughs> This is the best option we could have had. 
I just like that it all goes up quite literally in flames. Okay, this is gonna be good. I'm excited for this. Okay. I'll admit, mistakes were made. I'm fine. Are we going to jail now? Depends on how fast you can run. Nine minutes earlier. Okay, so quite literally right back to where this was. I am so excited. We got, do we actually get to, right then? I'm looking forward to it. I am so, where, where does this go horribly wrong? This goes horribly wrong in an hour. I love it. Shall we? He offers me his arm so we can walk arm in arm toward our apparent romantic destiny, and I gratefully accept. <sighs> Fucking. Lost when the safe house gets arrested. <laughs> Holy crap. They have a very fancy place here at Pengy's Paradise. Wow. I mean, I knew this place existed. There's lots of expensive exclusive restaurants and clubs tucked away throughout Pengy's Paradise, but... I'd only seen a very small, very badly compressed JPEGs of La Penguin before today. Nothing like seeing it in person. Immediately, I feel underdressed, but Loxley doesn't seem to even flinch at strolling into this place wearing his unique set of attire. Shut up, we love a man in cosplay. I just, I, I have, I'm so excited. What gets set on fire? After a brief nod to the maitre d', we're immediately squirted to a lovely little table. How did you have a reservation already? We settled down on the table as menus with food infinitely more expensive than anything I'd ever have to, I've ever had to date or produced. Yeah, true, fair. Those are actual candles, which means... Only after the staff finished lighting all the candles on our table and depart does Loxley explain. What? Loxley! <laughs> Sir! I'm not gonna lie, I'm in on this one for the adventure because this is good. We will not be bored. Anyone ask? My name is Mr. Jeffries and I'm the regional business manager for the palace. Sure you are. You're committing identity theft right now, aren't you? <laughs> Indeed, I stole the contact list while at Max along with plans to exploit children and gambling addicts with arcade loot boxes. Stiffing them with the bill tonight is a fair play, considering they're looking to stiff the entire arcade scene with their brand of corporate pseudo-fun. Oh, Let's eat, drink, and be merry with his, with his unwarranted multi-million dollar bonuses. Yeah, well, too bad we're going risky. Oh, and if we can't... I hate how much I love this game. Oh, I don't even care. Well then, we can't eat the rich, we can at the very least eat on the rich's dime. In order to the most expensive thing on the menu. This is just a night, it is one hour of crime. That is this game. Uncertainty abounds. The gold plated ice cream sundae? I'd suggest not lest you wish to have an unpleasant toilet rampage the next following day. Are you lactose intolerant too? At the second best item on the menu, absolutely. We shall assume the role of the 1% to enjoy the evening to the fullest. It's a good thing I already came wearing a blazer. We are 100% accomplices now. This is what we agreed to, okay? Tally ho! Now then, to us. Oh my god, I, I'm a stupid fool. He pours two glasses of volatile green liqueur. A del I was gonna say, is that absinthe? A delightful absinthe. I'm, I'm okay. Raises the glass high with a shrug. I lift my tin turn to clink away. It's us. It's us. We both sip deep of the very expensive wellspring of La Penguin's delights. This is so funny. To be honest, even beyond giving me the rare chance to demonstrate my romantic talents. <laughs> Tonight is a delight for me simply because you're here. Aww. An unpleasant business, this. Wh Why unpleasant? Oh, because we're talking about this. Some days I feel as, as if I am pulled 11 ways at once. FOD2 practice, online tournaments, my allies and their efforts to secure Polybius and more. 
You've been in a stable rock in an otherwise turbulent life. You provide me with clarity and purpose, and for that I am grateful. No matter the storms I must navigate, you are my North Star. Okay, that's really cute. I'm unfortunately probably leading you to jail. <laughs> and when I tell you overwork to the point of breaking, I know I can return to our team's home and see you smile, and that makes the effort worthwhile. It's a really good line. I, I'm like, mmm, shit. Son. Okay, gonna give you this one. Loxley. I speak true, direct, directly from my heart. I know no other way to speak. These words may be honeyed, but they are sincere. Take it from the team's cat wrangler. It's best to delegate so you don't burn out. I know, I feel the same way, honestly. A drift bit with you to cling to. It sounds like we've got that in common. The same feeling of being pulled in many directions. You may see me as a rock, but trust me, I'm not exactly an immovable object. I'm dealing with so many things at once. But having you around to cheer me up and encourage me on, that helps. That helps a lot, Loxley. Similar struggles, similar hopes. One can ask for little one can ask for little more. Well, true love is nice as well, but love can spring from common circumstances. Lean against each other for support and strength forevermore. Find way to endure the difficulties of twenty whatever the hell this year is. Loxley looks up as a number of the wait staff emerge from the wings carrying bouquet <laughs> bouquets, flower arrangements, and even more candles. I think we understand how the fire happens. Little by little, our table is surrounded by the kind of fluffy and sweet decoration normally only seen on really sappy greeting cards. And a token of my affection for you, Rogue. A simple gesture, nothing more. Good thing I'm not allergic to pollen, I guess? Needless to say... I've been planning the perfect evening of love and joy for some time. What? Even if I've yet to ever need them, designing such plans was an okay. enjoyable way to pass the time. Called it, told you. He just had a lot of these plans figured out. We didn't start the fire. Oh. Uh, except that we did. <laughs> a rather lonely time, admittedly. Is it weird that I can 100% relate to that? Like, it's fun to plan these things. Oh, shit. That's relatable. My love life was rather bereft before now. Uh, more theoretical Aww. than practiced. I, you don't get out much. Is that what you're trying to tell me, sweetie? You'd think I'd be a regular Casanova with my courtly ways, but... Oh. I've been waiting for the right soul to whom I could open my heart. And you and your te you and your Iris, you and Maid Marian, y'all aren't like we should probably put that on the table right now, just out of curiosity. And that soul belongs to you. He's so cute when he's blushy. I aspire to be the finest lover you've ever had. Oh, we are jumping a lot of guns here. With my actions tonight, the evening shall. Be perfect. Okay, please tell me we fast forward back to everything being on fire. It must be perfect to properly express my affections. Well, shit. Okay, we've gone and started, like, with a perfectionist. This is not good. Sweet, sweet. Oh, God. Yeah, hun, hun, we are gonna, I, I, like, I hate to break this to you. Yeah, it's a first date. Please put the stick. Here's the thing. The bar, honestly... Put it on the ground. If it's there, we're gonna be doing better than a lot of first dates, okay? Um, you don't have to, don't feel you need to perform for me. Just be yourself. Oxley, that's very kind of you and I'm glad you're living at your fantasy of such a pleasant date, but like, I don't want you to feel like you have to f perform for me. You can just, be yourself, you know? Don't feel like you have to go this far just for me. Oh, uh, but you're worthy of my very best, and I always offer my very best for the worthy. If that's what you want, okay, but... Indeed, and I'm not quite finished yet. There's still so much more. How many lines in this spreadsheet, sir? After the staff surrounds us enough dried flowers... Dried flowers? Fuck. This is 100% where the fire starts. And candles to fill three 1980-something power ballad music video shoots. He snaps his fingers and summons a violin player from nowhere. Immediately romantic music fills the air 
as the musician sways back and forth pulling the bow with fervor. Sir, you can't top this. This 100% explains the fire. And if they're dried, it means there's no vases of water to put it out. Okay, so now we have music. Music and verse. Please, please tell me you sing. I would love this. I would love nothing else. We're gonna go through all of the dates at some point. Maybe that's today. Maybe we don't hit section three. Section three is a lot of turns. Not section three, section six. Chapter six has a lot of content warnings. So maybe we go in this direction. Oh no, oh no, he is seriously getting on one knee and raising a hand high so he can recite love poetry at me. I desperately look around to check to see if anybody's recording this on their phone. The last thing I want for uh, want for is for us to go viral is cringe. Shall I compare thee to the sun, glorious and radiant as the dawn? Oh my god. Or perhaps to the moon. Never mind. Silver and gleaming on the uh, lawn. I regret this date now. We're back to regret. Yeah, no, we're back. We're back to regret. We're back in that camp. Nay, say I. Such words are on. He is inflicting poetry. Finest words for one as deserving. For thou hast snarled my heart about thy visage, a shimmering oasis towards which I voyage. <laughs> I said, okay, here's the thing. I am now certain we for sure, st I think we start the fire to get out of this. I, I am probably going to be arrested for arson and that's okay. Mayhaps I should compare thee to- Immediate heaven. regret. So much regret. Specs launched a thousand ships. Nay, say I. Sir. Although thou hast <laughs> such soft we are, I'm sorry, where are you going with it? Arson buddy is for life, yes. And that's... Ah! And that's when the violin blow accidentally brushes right past a series of glowing candle flames. The end of the bow glows bright yellow as it bursts into flames. Immediately the violin shrieks as the accidental... As he accidentally plays faster and faster trying to put out the flames. Oh no. Wait, wait, hang on. He grabs his... No! He grabs his glass of absinthe, missing the water glass on the table, and tosses it onto the violin. Ah, yes, you know what helps fire? Alcohol. Which bursts out right into flames, screaming the violinist tosses. Yeah, violin bows are covered in resin, too. Very true. Very flammable. Oh, screaming the violinist tosses the doomed instrument away, right into the various dried flower arrangements. And soon enough, there's a blazing inferno all around us. Date cancelled. Time to go. As fire alarms ring out and patrons are evacuated, we join the crowd being hustled out the exits and out of what is rapidly becoming the blazing remains of the penguin. Oh. And that's how we found ourselves outside a burning building, watching in horror as it all went to the great restaurant in the sky. Wow, so that's actually our first date as we've destroyed a restaurant. Oh my god. As Loxley reviews the blazing remnants of his perfect romantic evening. So bad news, you're the center of attention and very identifiable. Yep. His high of love and devotion comes to a sobering halt. Okay. I'll admit it, mistakes were made. Are we going to jail now? That depends on how fast you can run. Pretty fast it turned out. We sprint and sneak our way through the crowd, avoiding as much of the bright lights of Pengi Paradise as we can. We only stop on reaching the other side of the park, merging back in a crowd of couples gazing wistfully across, oh, excuse me, the lake. A good moment to catch our breath and reflect. So we're doing none of that ever again. And so my failure is realized. I can only offer my deepest apologies, my deepest apologies for letting you down so completely. Loxley, you didn't let me down. No, no, I absolutely didn't. I let myself down. Sir. He slumps forward heavily, feeling a weight on his shoulders. Shall we 
let's be completely honest, okay? Please, that is literally what I've been asking since the fucking first moment of this. I'm not some hero. I'm not a knight. I'm a complete failure at being anything like the legends I aspire to be. I talk a good game, but in the end, I'm an ex-drama club brat. Join the club! A two-bit street punk who's read way too much Shakespeare. I'm not Errol Flynn. I'm not Carrie Elwes. I'm not even Kevin Costner. All the these and thous don't cover the fact that I'm just some random dork with a dorky real name. I want to know the real name, though. Hear me out. I'm really curious. I, what name if I could? This is like when we learned, um, Goth Dad in Dream Daddy, and we learned about Goth Dad secretly being a tech nerd. Melvin! Kind of love it. We're gonna work on your last name. If we get married, I'm we're taking mine. Melvin's kind of adorable, though. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. I've uh always hated that name. I want it to be something more than a Melvin. Someone grander, someone better. <laughs> oh, sweetie. So you basically suffer really hardcore from imposter syndrome. But in the end, I'm just the privileged white boy. Actually, not imposter life, syndrome, just. Pretending he's more classy and cool than he ever truly could be. Listen, fake it till you make it. This is how I get through my life. I'm a failure and a fraud. Maybe it's for the best you saw that tonight. Saw me make a total jackass of myself. It's accurate, at least. Oh, sweetie. Tara's human. Your humanity is what makes you a true knight. <laughs> Tara's human. You are tonight? Absolutely. Jesus Christ, we can never do any of that again. But that you recognize your errors only makes me admire you more and more. Actual knights from medieval times are probably complete bastards, right? They'd never break down and open themselves to others the way that you just did just now. I'd say your humanity is what makes you a true knight, living up to the ideal more than the reality, and I love you for that. Listen! I have openly talked about how much I screw up, and it's wonderful. You can love a complete screw up like me. I'd rather love a screw up than a paragon. It's not like I'm much of a paragon myself. I'm really not. Very well. Melvin. Fucking precious boy. If I'm still worthy, then I shall endeavor to remain worthy of your love. And in my humane failings, may you find comfort. So, my perfect evening in literal flames. I've learned undoubtedly a fine learning experience, but it was at the expense of the romance you deserve. Uh, I'm sure a perfect evening will come along eventually. I know, the fact that we're like dropping the L word so casually right now is like, hmm, I'm sorry, what? And at that moment, the sky explodes with beautiful sparks as Pangy Paradise's like side fire show begins. Fireworks show begins. Huh, well, that's good timing. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, like very cash. The evening ends on a bright note, at the very least. Look, more fire! Just like controlled fire. Well, know this. Despite my failings, despite my short. Nope, we're not glossing over it. One fact burns true. I love you. This is literally our first date, sir. Sir, this is an Arby's. I don't believe I'm capable of ruining such a love, even in my clumsier moments. I'll pledge that devotion here and now. I'll be a man worthy of your dream and your heart. We need to work on your priorities. Also, I'm getting the sense that you have a lot of uh, deep set trauma that you need to figure out with a therapist. Which is why you're throwing yourself at me. Oxley. But I've poured enough words in your ear. Now, 
Let's simply savor the quiet moments. There we go. Together. Much better. Yeah, you know what would be great? Like, not talking. I think that's a smoochie. One perfect evening in the company of Loxley. My days and nights have been entirely taken by the FOD Pro, FOD2 Pro Tour until that point. Wrangling the business end of the team, training my skills, dreaming of victory. But this victory, this love that I found along the way, is tastes sweeter than drinking from any golden cup. And hopefully undoes the brainwashing of Polybius. And after the events that would unfold next, I need to remember that taste, holding on to the memory, using it to keep myself going. Because the best and the worst was yet to come. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. <sighs> Sir. Okay, everybody I feel like went down a step. If I didn't go on a date with them. No, I'm good to go. Mm, let's save the game. So we're going into a new slot. I'm actually going to put this on a new page altogether. So then starting on page four, we can then go back later and date the other individuals, which I, I want to do pretty. I want to do that. Um, so we're entering chapter six or level six. Um... I don't know if I've got the updated version of the game yet, but there are, I'm actually gonna just start off with a general content warning for this one. Um, so I came across, I was saying this at the top of the stream, but I came across, uh, the developers released a series, like basically like three different levels of um, content warnings. One that was just general, one that was for that was specific to each of the chapters, and then one that I think was had spoilers. I read the non-spoilery, but one's based off of like what level you're at. L6 is going to be heavier. L6 and L8 are both heavy, heavy episodes by the sounds of it. Um, so if you are someone with, uh, if you're someone who's triggered by, I, I want to say suicide is one of the one of the content warnings in this coming one, um, which got me very, very concerned for a lot of it. And mental illness, I think, plays a part in this as well. I, this is, I will continue to reiterate this warning straight up um i have half a mind to just go do the other dates now but what i think we'll go we'll get we'll start playing through six we're gonna see where this goes if we need to switch back to something happy we will go back and we're gonna go on a date with jinx or domino or somebody else or rhapsody or zapper or grace like we'll go i want to do that first date with everybody because i think it'd be really cute um, but not today. We'll do different playthroughs for everybody. Level six. Continue. Like, that makes me so work. Continue? Question mark? Also, based on how they structure their story, this is where things get bad. And then it kind of gets worse in L7, I think, half the time. Uh, I'm already anxious. This is the, it is the distant future 20 something or other and I don't have time to watch to fight Shaq today. Today's the big day. I've got a pounding headache and I don't think I can keep breakfast down after a night of drinking with Loxley. Shit. That's what we did. But I make it just in time as the charity show matches warming up and going through its pre-show antics. Cater, casters hyping up the online audience, arcade technicians setting Pengi Palace's FOD2 machine to tournament mode, and reporters settling in to watch. Uh, wow, okay, that's a lot of reporters. I mean, it's a hoodie. Oh, this is a hoodie, sir. Bold of you to assume I am. It is one of my pretty. They've got really cute. It's very, uh, this is, this is the company that does a lot of the pieces that I love in my current wardrobe. It's really cute. Uh, Volante Design. Uh, it's always been, I've, I've been able to get really lucky and I get a lot of their pieces on sale. Cause it's always pricey. But otherwise, like, it's incredibly good quality. Um, but Volante is, uh, if you remember the dress that I was wearing at GDC for the AGM, that, I know that makes sense to you. Um, it's by that same, that same designer. So, cause I am like that. Also, hi friend! 
how's it going? This is where we get arrested first and consequently banned from the tournament. Eh, possibly. How's it going? How's it, how you doing? How's your day off been? I say with very heavy tone. Welcome to, as we start uh, level six, I will continue to reiterate their uh, content warnings uh, abound with this one. I came across certain ones. It doesn't look like I have the updated version of this. I don't have the update in this yet, or they haven't done it yet. Um, but I feel like the end of this is this end of this one is gonna get heavy, which it may not hit today, maybe a tomorrow thing. So we'll get there when we get there. But otherwise, we're already possibly gonna get arrested for arson. Sir! I'm going to tell on you. I'm going to tell on you. I've got a big report to read. Um, anyways. <laughs> My completely empty threats aside. Yeah, no, I read, so the devs, <laughs> my, so the devs released uh, recently, um, they realized, con they released content warnings for the chat, they released content warnings. And there's three levels of which you can read it. So there was the, for the game all together, there was by chat, by level and like specific triggers. And then there was more detailed with spoilers. Um, so we stand to hit some of those in this chapter. Um, I have a theory. Also, this game, so like, this has very similar pacing to, this is very similar pacing to some of the other stuff that we've done. So if anybody, to like, to the first game. So if anybody remembers, like, the big thing was the day where we held that big major event. Um, cause I think that was after the beach day. Is that before or after beach day? I don't remember. It was before or after the beach episode, and we did that big event that eventually goes absolutely south for me. But that also, but it meant that Percy ended up in the hospital. Um, I think it might be... Actually, that turned out okay. So we'll see. We're gonna see how this goes. But, like, there is some major, the roller coaster of emotions and feels is coming. We've been, we've been on this, like, on a steady, steady, and I feel like we're suddenly, we're gonna feel our stomach drop out. That's what I'm expecting from this. Anyways, hello and welcome. Uh, wow, that's a lot of reporters. I mean, this is an industry feel-good event rather than a pro tour stop, so I wasn't expecting this much coverage. <laughs> I mean, Margaret is probably needed. We'll see how this goes. What's up, everybody? I'm live and direct to the Pengi Paradise Arcade for the Pengi Charity Exhibition sponsored by the Palace, the top name in premier family entertainment arcades. Excitement is building as we prepare to witness long team, long time rivals team play to win, take on Magnificent Seven in public for the first time. Been lurking for the last hour trying to prize a pencil out of an iPad chart. What? Oh, jeez. How did it... I, you've got kids. Maybe that's how it got in there. In the did you get it out? That's the real question. I I am tired. <laughs> I don't think I've recovered from being up till like 3 a.m. on Saturday night for the UK... The Ukraine charity stream, rather. Um, which was a lot of fun. And a lot of laughter. Um, and a lot of... I. God damn, I'm, I, giveaways is fun. I like pretending to be Oprah, okay? <laughs> Joys of children, yep, succeed in hooray for lockpicks. <laughs> oh, good. Well, that's good. That's, oh God. iPad charge, yeah. Jeez. That's good at least that you're able to get it out and yay for lockpicks, God. <laughs> How are you doing, Alex? How are things beyond that? Oh man, prize unlocked, undefeated. Why don't you have lockpicks? I don't actually have lockpicks. It's one of those things I would love to get at some point just to play with. Mix. Ah, <laughs> not banned for 10 months. Way to go, age dog. How's it going? <laughs> So proud of me. <laughs> ah. I got 
report at work, so Todd himself had a lockpick. Uh, I'm not surprised, Alex. That feels accurate. That that sounds on brand. Oh my goodness. How are you doing, H Dog? Have you murdered anybody? It's always a valid question if you ask me. Makes sense though, yeah, we're undefeated going into this match. We've nailed every major public fight we've taken on we've taken part in. Media tension will naturally be at an all-time high. But at least my M7 is here to keep my excuse me. To keep my mind somewhat off the media presence. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm alive. I left others alive too. We'll come up with a code word. There you are! We were for, we were worried you'd forgotten the whole thing. Pretty sure you don't break into an iPad. <laughs> Yeah, Alex, what are you teaching the kids? You're not teaching them how to use the lockpicks properly, apparently. I would not forget this. I don't think I could forget this. I'm pretty sure. For the record, I wasn't worried at all. Not like you had to roll in at the crack of dawn. Good. Good. Unlike this one, who was up and fretting and pacing and worrying since seven in the morning. I really want these two to end up together. Like, that is the main reason for not choosing Goth Girlfriend. Um, it's because I want the two of them to end up together. But hey, it's always better than having to clean out a few chocolate bars from a VRC machine. Oh, Jesus, yeah. VCR machine? Yeah. I don't think I've ever... I don't think we were ever that bad as kids. My brother and I... Actually, I take that back. I think my brother definitely put something into a VCR at some point. I understood. I, I figured it out. I am old enough to get that reference. Most people here probably are too. Um, if you're not, then I, you might be too young for my streams. <laughs> Considering all the jokes I make about elder millennials. So. I, um, uh, I, I just uh, want to make sure we do our best. That's all. However, sad boy, we should probably go romance you at some point. Awful lot of media attention for such a tiny and meaningless charity show match, isn't it? It's almost wall-to-wall -wall fourth estate in here. Sounds good to me. It's an exciting match, Domino. They've never seen us take P on PTW live and in person before. It's a big deal of dramatic stakes. Curious. I just find it a wee bit interesting that a match which ultimately changes nothing for our pro tour status is now the most hyped thing we've ever attempted. Interesting and concerning. We've beaten P Team P2W before. We'll beat them again. And this time, they can't weasel and wind their way out of it. Had to fish jam sandwich from the Xbox. Oh, no. That's not good. The jawline's in this scene. I'm feeling very insecure. <laughs> what a sticky situation. Oh, my life. Age dog. Let's not forget this is a charity benefit as well. We're going to do a lot of good today, win or lose. Yeah, yeah, feed the hungry, save the world, just as long as we get to show everyone what we can do. Pity they fired Coda. I would have liked to rub this one in his face after how he treated us before. It's not sporting to kick a fallen enemy when he's down, Zapper. Coda's been through enough. Nah. Yeah, especially since Valkyrie seems to be, like, absolutely destroying him. It is a surprising amount of interest for a single fight outside the Pro Tour structure of tournaments and qualifying opportunities. But so what? We'll win. We always win. Damn it, the mind control has not stopped. Um, so when she approaches me with that familiar look of mild disdain, I don't let it get to me. Rogue. Valkyrie. Good day to raise money for charity, yes? Pity it has to happen at the expense of your legend, but hey, at least the nonprofits get to walk away happy. Amazing how she can make a virtuous act into a sly dig. And lost yet. You spent all day playing in the park and then partied into the evening. I don't think you're in a particularly great shape for this challenge. You're going to talk. You and your team are in the park all day, too. <sighs> There's a fine line between disdain and date me, daddy. <laughs> H-Dog, I feel like you're a day late for Father's Day. I don't, I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> A little funny you thought the mind control would just stop just because you started dating. I know, you know what? Actually, no. That's when it gets worse. Let's be real. Sorry. 
for okay, so those of you guys just joining, um, hi two flower. <laughs> we pursued Loxley, and then we burned down a restaurant. Which, by the way, two flower, mwah, that was good. I was crying from laughing. Oh my god. So we have a save right now to be pursuing Loxley. We're gonna go back and date goth girlfriend and sad boyfriend uh, later. Because this is how we do. Um, and Loxley's real name is Melvin and I, I love him. I love this stupid boy. Ugh, but the Polybia is mind control. It was so good. I, oh my god, I died. It was wonderful. Anyways, welcome. It's <laughs> so delicious. So good. Oh. <laughs> it like happened like 20 minutes ago and I'm still cackling. Yeah, it was great. All my life. When you're at our ranking, one day off isn't detrimental. It's helpful to rest. We don't need perpetual training, unlike most. Uh, isn't that what you've been putting your team through, though? As a young team, you can't waste a single day. I'm gonna waste you. If you were truly serious about this, you would have been training right up until this moment. But you have got a history of ignoring my advice, so I guess I can't expect you to listen. I hope you realize that after your loss today. I hope you realize that after your loss today, because I don't know what else it's gonna take to drill the truth into your head. Okay, I stretch. Thank you, Alex. Oh God. Otherwise, I'm just gonna sit here glaring at her. Mm. She glances over at the report. Everybody else also stretch. I'm sure you need it. Oh, hello. Oh, she glances over. Oh God, I'm cracking. Oh God. She glances over the reporters and offers them a friendly wave of greeting. Flash bulbs go off, catching her smile in my scowl. I hate you. Time for me to go rally my troops. Get your stretchies in. You do that. You do the thing. I don't think I realized announcements were a thing. Is that a new Twitch feature? Or is just something mods can do and I've never taken advantage of? <laughs> Time for me to go rally my troops. I suggest you do the same. See you on the battlefield. Bye. Mm. With that, she strolls back to Team Play to win to give them the obligatory pre-game pep talk. How am I supposed to rally the troops? Hi, troops. Turn to face my friends, my team, and I do my best to give them one final pep talk going into this important fight. Huh. Treat the I'm proud of you all, and I know we're gonna do great. What the bah, No! That's not what I said! That's not... No, thank you! We need to win this match at all costs! Wait, what? That's not what I was going to say! It just kind of slipped out! You okay there, boss? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Look, a win should be great, but... Would be great, but... A win's what we want, a win's what we get. Seems simple and straightforward to me. Just remember our training is to support each other as a team, and that win's in the bag. We give it our all, yeah? Right, yeah, that was that was definitely what I was going to say. And yet you didn't. I'm under a lot of stress, okay? Look, you get the point. Just let's go out there and do our best. Yep. This is the twist. Second place is just first loser. Okay, oh god, H Dog. I forget how competitive you get. This is the twist. We go full Polybius in this chapter. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, what if that's... <sighs> We're gonna see. Suddenly Parker commits themselves to a longer stream time than usual because we're very... I need to know how this chapter goes. My life. Let's decide who's stepping up to team the face play, play to win. Odds are good that Valkyrie's gonna pick Cupcake. <laughs> My rival's name is Cupcake. <laughs> I forget that until we come across him again. I'm like, oh yeah. As for my player too. The obvious choice is Loxley, but I could pick someone I haven't given a spotlight to yet. Good team coach gets everyone a chance to shine. But a good our best chance of winning would be a strong partnership like Loxley and I have. I'm not sure. Who shall I team up with? Oh. 
Um, I could go Loxley. I could go Jinx. I could go anybody. Um, the problem is I actually like you like working with Domino on these matches. I don't know why. J I haven't played with Jinx in a hot minute though, so I think I might go Goth Girlfriend. I just want her to end up with Grace, okay? <laughs> There we go. Thank you. I was going to say, because I was reading... Let's pull that up. Yeah. Uh, level by level. Yeah. The, the, the... See, look! I'm, like, completely supported in the... I said... I was starting to say that at the start of this, the start of this level. I was like, this this level gets, this is where it gets heavy. Um, all right, so possible alt content warnings for this. I'm we're gonna put them out here now. Mild violence or threats of violence. Well, threats of violence for sure. Suicide. Suicide ideation. Um. Cyberbullying. Those are the big ones for this scene. Yeah. So, please keep that in mind. Yeah, no. Which is also why I've got the, the save, I've got a save space, save, just in case we want to bounce back to something happier. But please take care of yourselves. This is, 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 it is. And I put something here, but it's got kind of, yeah, there we go. There we go. I've got some of it here. Um, we're gonna go with Domino. Cause that's where I like to play again, play it alongside half the time. But thank you, Two Flower. I yeah, I saw I came across that on the weekend and I was starting to read through it, so I was I'm just repeating it every few every little bit because it's important. Everybody make sure you take care of yourselves. If you need to step away, please do. That's your own health and safety is really paramount over everything else, so. And if anybody wants to talk about any of the stuff that comes up afterwards, honestly, just, like, shoot me a whisper and we can chat. Or, or message me on Twitter. Uh, Domino, you're on deck. You good with joining this fight? It may be valuable to keep an eye on you up close, yes. We'll keep you company through this experience. That's a concerning response, but yes is yes. With a nod to each other, Domino and I step up to the FOD2 machine, ready to get the spider away. Oh, I was gonna go with Jinx. Shit. Too late. Whatever. Always burn, never back. But as you approach the FOD2 machine, we're gonna add a, a content warning reminder at the start of this specific level in a future patch. Yeah, I saw that too. There's one at the start of the game too. That tracks. Um, but as we approach the FOD2 machine with various camera eyes and recorder, video recorders pointed our way, I can't help us notice some things off. Cupcake is ready to fight. I was expecting that part, considering they're the top player in team play to win now, but where's their partner? Hey, Cupcake, you facing a solo or? No, my partner is right here. Glance around with Blitz and Diviner on the sidelines, meaning Cupcake's partner is Valkyrie. Me. In case you hadn't figured it out quite yet, and I'm Cupcake's partner. But you retired years ago. You're not on the roster. You're the team coach. And you're the coach for Magnificent Seven, and you're constantly putting yourself behind the sticks. If you won't learn from my example, maybe I should learn from yours. I'm surprised. You think I think you'd be happy I'm taking a cue from you. Looks like you can teach an old dog new tricks. What's going on here? How long did she have this planned? But the cameras are rolling. Everyone's waiting in excited anticipation. The fight is going down no matter what, and it's too late to switch things up. Suits us just fine. Doesn't matter who we're facing. We're gonna be. We're going to beat you. And may the better team win. I glance up to Domino, trying to look more confident than worried, as I pull my trusty beige USB keyboard from my backpack. Uncertain exactly what to expect, we step up to the machine and begin. Fight. All right, well. Okay. Uh, we're 
gonna go in with the defense. My defenses go up, but unfortunately my enemy notices me playing it safe and slow and unleashes a devastating special move before I can react. Okay. Now the score is now zero to 130. She's fast, she's good. Hasn't lost a single reflex from her glory days. She may be even faster than she was when she conquered the first Fist of Discomfort scene. But that's only an opening salvo. We still have weapons for days to use against her. As much as I'd like to flip lanes and go after Cupcake, I think I'll focus on Valkyrie to try to learn, try to figure out her weakness. Mm, can't remember how you play, how you specifically play, what your play style is. Um, no plan, God laughs. That's just how things go, I guess. I adore you, Domino. Special loses to their attack. They are in 150. We are not doing great. Domino's having trouble dealing with Cupcake, but Valkyrie's not letting up. Not for a second. I can't help there. You ready for more? I'm ready for more. Boring it, kid. Gritting my teeth, I press forward. Mm. Yeah. Charging up for a really amazing special move sounds like a plan. Unfortunately, it's a plan Valkyrie has figured out, and I'm interrupted mid-casting smash in the face. Special loses third attack, 130 points. Score is now 410. Zero to 410. Um. Oops, doodle. Screwed that one up royally. Your attack loses their defense. This is, we are not making any moves. Uh, is this where we lose because the rock, paper, scissors? So yeah, I wonder. Well, we're gonna use the ultimate soon and that should. Okay, yeah. Before I can even react, my opponent snaps out their ultimate, a one-use trump card. Nothing I can do, nothing I, nothing I do can stand in the wake of that onslaught as I'm buffeted by attack after attack and beaten back. Opponent uses their ultimate, they earn 130. What in the hell? We've never had our ultimate countered before. It's like our one superpower as a team. Too slow. We are getting decimated. <laughs> yeah, no. This is the most lopsided loss I've ever seen in my life. How are we going to recover from this? We haven't scored a single point. I activate my trap card! Oh, wait, wrong game. <laughs> yeah, how easy can I just flip this into wizard poker? Please tell me. <laughs> Blue Eyes Red Dragon would totally help, though. Valkyrie and Cupcake are stomping us into the dirt and making it look absolutely effortless. I haven't heard of a yu gi reference in a long time. <laughs> you're welcome. What can I say except you're welcome. I don't know why, I just have like a handful of Yu-Gi-Oh references that I love to throw at it absolutely just random times and it's, I, ugh, it makes me happy. My brain dances through the mental math trying to figure out if a comeback is even possible. Is now, that's okay. Sorry, sorry. That one's my bad. It's okay, baby. Your attack loses their defense. They earn 130. Well, it's been swelled, but now the swelling's gone down. Cupcake, let's finish this. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Is this where I malfunction? Because I'm starting to wonder. My defenses go up, but unfortunately my enemy notices me playing it slow and safe and unleashes a devastating special move before I can react. Your defense loses to their special, and this is an embarrassing loss. I mean, statistically speaking, yeah, that's why I, I, I had a feeling there would be one of those that came in. That one's my bad. Which is fine. It's a plot. You lose. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the other key that this is, uh, it's a, I, I called it a few, a couple of levels ago. There'd be a fixed point in which we lose, especially considering the Polybius mind brainwashing. Um, and that would be kind of this devastating turn of events. Normally afterwards, I get an option to fight again. If I so choose. I called it. It means you've just been watching Alex and I play. <laughs> Rigamorous, girl, rigamor. Uh, sorry, I make also drag race references on far too many occasions. We lost the most crushing loss of our entire. It's not that crushing. This was a charity event. I demand, I demand an investigation into the refs. 
Listen, if you keep that up, you're gonna get pulled from the core. You're gonna get pulled from the diamond. Sure, it's now baseball. She warned me to stay away. She knew she'd win. <laughs> she knew she'd win and wanted to protect my reputation, but I chose to be there front and center and get my teeth kicked in before a studio audience. Was it all about my ego? Yes. My pride? Also yes. Could my friends have beaten her if I agreed to step back and let them take charge? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I called it forever ago that our ego was going to be an issue. The, the reporters caught every moment of it, of course. Our shaky cam video of beating P2W originally is nothing compared to that. What's more? What a fight! The blazing comeback of Victoria Proud, Pudgy. retired veteran no more. This moment is going down in esports history, folks. Punchy, I thought you were on my side. Thought we became friends at max. Valkyrie strolls right past us. Okay, I will say, y'all, I love her pants. Anyways, <laughs> been through this before. Valkyrie strolls right past us, ready to deliver as many interviews as the media are willing to offer. Miss Proud, Miss Proud, how long have you been planning this comeback? <laughs> please, please, call me Valkyrie. I'm back in competition after all. So this wasn't a one-time thing. Punchy is on Punchy's side. You're not wrong. Of course not. I'm back for good. And I'll personally lead team play to win all the way to pro tour championship glory. Ma'am, ma'am, I super hope I can actually have one more shot at beating you one day when I'm not brainwashed. As if that wasn't bad enough. Aunt Vicky, Aunt Vicky. Valkyrie's niece. Pokes her way through the crowd, runs up and gives her auntie a big hug right in front of the cameras. <laughs> That's a champion attitude. You won the game! Hooray! Oh, no. We raised a lot of money for charity today. So in the end, I'm not the winner. We're all winners. Oh, you know how to run those cameras, girl. She did it. She stole her story. We were the underdogs rising to the top. So by leveraging her comeback with the dramatic timing, now she looks like an underdog. Oh yeah, no, she's smart. And we're just another stepping stone on her return to glory, a footnote in her history book. As for Cupcake, they avoid the cameras, choosing to stay off to the side, so I approach. What the heck was that? Did you know she was gonna fight us herself? Rogue. I'm sorry, but I think it'd be best if we don't speak to you. Longtime friends, we had this whole lover rivals to lovers trope happening. Except for the fact that I never spent any attention attention on you whatsoever. Age dog, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm gonna call the ref out on you. What? This isn't like how it used to be, the good old days. Things are different now. That doesn't make any sense. Tell me what's going on. I can't. This is for the best. Goodbye. We stand back. You are, okay. You you are probably a lot. Crush that cupcake. <laughs> we do not stand Valkyrie in this house. She is manipulative AF. There is no standing of her. I, I don't understand. We've always been able to be honest and open each other with each other before, despite being rivals. Why go so cold on me? Ha! Relatable. Ah, there we go. I see. So you side with a winner, eh? Ha! Huh. H Dog, how do you like having that sword? Be a shame if something were to happen to it. Anyway. <laughs> yes, we are back to threatening my mods. Welcome. <laughs> With the press swarming around Valkyrie and the rest of Team P2W, well, we're left standing around on the sidelines, stunned by it all. We do stand their fashion sense. I'm... <laughs> oh, we, we, I will say, we stand Valkyrie's aesthetic. <laughs> there we go. Much better, Age Dog. Thank you. Zapper's the first to break the silence. What in the fucking hell was that absolute clown fiesta out there? We couldn't get a single hit. They made us look like complete chumps. Not one point, a complete shutout. That does not happen at the professional level. So, so we lost. It's just an exhibition match. It doesn't matter. We look like complete failures. 
I'm probably still on track to qualify for the Pro Tour in a few weeks. That doesn't have to mean anything. No, no, this is one extremely clear meeting. Uh, inevitability. Friends, this is what we in the cynicism business call inevitability. This is the universe telling us that this entire thing was probably doomed from the start. Could have been worse. Everyone stay calm. This doesn't mean M7 was a mistake. New professional teams sometimes take years to get off the ground. I, uh, huh. so, I see. Uh, well. yeah, yes, victory. Aye, that is the inevitable thing. We'll get back at them eventually. We just need patience, right? Right. He's trying to keep his energetic nightly persona, but when even Loxley is having doubts, the guy who hurls himself headlong into blind loyalty, I let him down. I let them all down. Something is not right. Um, excuse me a minute, please. Yeah, Grace, go figure it out. I believe in you so much. With a distracted air, Grace pulls out her phone and walks away to make some calls. Damn. Nobody's happy with us. We get that. No point in harping on it. Our plane back to the city leaves in six hours. Just we get our stuff and head off to the airport. Anything else, any other decisions, those can wait. Go home, get a full night's sleep, sort things out of team practice tomorrow with a clear head. Agreed? Jinx, you are a brilliant woman. Agreed. Um, by the way, for those of you who, thank you for those of you who were able to drop by for any part of the Stand With Ukraine charity uh, stream we had over the weekend in the Women in Games channel. It was a lot of fun. We had, I think, over 1,200 pounds, um, but the donation link is still up for a couple of weeks. I'm just so proud we got our 1,111 pounds and 11 pennies. Not gonna lie, that was very, very exciting for me <laughs> to happen during my stream. So what if Valkyrie stole our thunder? What, so what if we look like stumbling toddlers out there? It doesn't have to mean anything. Nothing means anything at all. One plate ride, luggage off the carousel, range, ride chair back to the apartment building. Healthy dinner, everyone retiring to their rooms, late rising, wandering off, doing their own things. Now it's late afternoon with the sun starting to go down. Time for team practice. And I'm the only one here. No one else showed up for our regularly scheduled drills and online ranked matches. I pull out my phone to set off some text to my teammates, but hesitate. Truthfully, I wasn't sure I wasn't sure I was gonna show up. This whole thing, it, it hurt, it hurt hard. I'm still not sure what to think about it all. The only reason I came downstairs to the arcade was out of some sense of routine and scheduled normalcy, but after playing FOD2 after that, but actually playing FOD2 after that disaster? I don't know, I just, I don't know. And given I'm the only one here, well, maybe they don't know either. My favorite boys! Also, I own this shirt now. Not as a V-neck, Katsy got it as a V-neck. I have uh, this like cute little, like, slightly oversized, slight, oversized thing. When we get knocked out, when we get knocked down, we stand up again, adjust ourselves off with the resolve to crush that cupcake. We shall crush the cupcake. Cupcakes are meant to be smooshed. And eaten, but that's a whole other thing. <laughs> oh my god. We get knocked down, we get up again, and then we get knocked back down. <laughs> no, we'll be fine. When I look up, I spot everyone's favorite artisans of fancy bespoke pizza tending to the arcade, empty and coin trays, checking the change machine, stuff like that. And when they see me standing there all alone in the middle of an empty arcade, well... I think they know what's going on. Tough times, huh? I love these boys. You can say that again. They're going to. Don't give them that invitation. Tough times, huh? We were watching the match yesterday during the mid-morning brunch rush. It, uh... Well, it didn't look very enjoyable, all told. I, yeah. Chumbawamba's always a solid, okay? <laughs> I don't know. That nice lady seemed very happy about it. Matt! That was their arch nemesis, Matt. Oh, well, in that case, no. Not an enjoyable event in the slightest. Thanks, Matt. I take it the rest of your team are similarly unhappy? I don't know where they are. You can say that. No, no, they're not happy. We're not inviting you to repeat. <laughs> Cupcake is going to be Chumbo Wumbo when we finish with that. You mean Tub Thumper? Is that, is that what they're gonna be? That's the, I mean... 
If this whole thing was a mistake, forcing them to play at being something, forcing them to play at being something they're not just for the sake of my own dream. Well, let's not assume your dreams aren't even slightly related to their dreams. Dreams can be a funny thing. There's a lot of overlap between them. For instance, I love cooking and Ben loves business. I'm happiest over a warm oven while he's happiest <laughs> over a warm spreadsheet. Um, if your spreadsheet is warm, I have concerns for your computer. It might be overheating. So we've started a few ventures that we knew would satisfy both our dreams. And supporting each other? That's the best dream of all. I love them. Maybe your friends didn't dream of glory the same way you did, but have they been happy with supporting your dream? That's the question. I think they were. I mean, Hamza's tournament was pretty cool, and we got to go to Max and meet the four Heavenly Kings, and we got this kick-ass home together. Honestly, I thought things were going great, but if they were happy, then why aren't they here? That sounds like the kind of question you need to be asking them, not us. Yeah. If I knew where they were. Yeah, uh, Cupcake abandoning ship on our friendship. One, too close to home. Two, Cupcake was made with rotten eggs and spoiled milk, clearly. So, go look for them? I mean, it seems a fairly obvious solution to your conundrum. Don't let your anxiety draft up nightmare scenarios. Instead, figure out what's going on directly. Very good advice. I think you'll find that reaching out to people and talking things through works wonders. My phone still hangs heavy in my hand. I was about to ring them and ask what's up, right? Maybe I shouldn't assume they're sick of M M7. Maybe I shouldn't assume that they hate me now. Okay, okay. Thanks, you two. I'll do what I can to rally the team. We wish you the very best. May you get by with a little help from your friends. Oh, that's cute. I get by with a little help from my friends. Lend them your ears and sing them a song. And try not to sing out of key. Okay, but Matt, I don't think you understand how I work here. If you haven't heard the last several mini ditties I've had go on, they are all awfully out of key. I don't know how to actually sing. <laughs> Uh, okay, Matt, let's stop this before we get sued for copyright infringement. Ah, uh, my constant worry as I stream. No, Cage Talk, why did you redeem sing mode? <sighs> God damn it. Be seeing you. We're gonna do sing mode. I've got. Give me a second here. God damn it, you both are team sing mode! Times two, how do I. <laughs> it's you, H Doc. For both of you, Gem, H Doc. Promise that the hour's growing late. I don't think that I can check in on all of my friends. Maybe two, at best. First one should be Loxley, and goes without saying. Age of Devil Dog, my god. Actually, there's a pretty direct way to locate Loxley, isn't there? What? What do you mean, wait? Did you not expect me to just start singing what the actual words are? Because that's pretty much how this is going to go. You a Devil Dog? Oh my god. Better than an Up Dog! I'm going to see myself out now. <laughs> Iris, can you chat with Marion for a moment for me? Ask her how Loxley is doing. Sure thing, we can violate his privacy so you have an easier time tracking him down. No problem at all, except for, you know, the little bit of legality that comes along with hacking into someone's private network. But I digress. I only have myself to blame for encouraging that line of thinking, Iris. Okay. Iris safe haven protocol connected. How do I do the accent in singing? This is gonna be tricky. What ho, Iris. Fortuitous timing. I beseech thee for help. Loxley's on the cusp of committing a crime most terrible. And when Pizza Pants on fire No! No! Not the Pizza Bagels! 
And when pizza and be a top of bagel, thou canst have pizza anytime. Oh, it's the pizza. I love it. Listen, I'm still upset over not having pizza facts. I miss them. I want to resubscribe. Oh, great. What on earth is he doing now? Uh, no, I got unsubscribed from Pizza Facts early on in this game. I'm still horribly, I'm like still sad about it. It's very silly. I'm sending you his whereabouts now. He may be cross with me. It is a burden I bear willingly. To save him from himself. I ran out of good Pizza Facts with the Pizza Facts. Fair point. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> you know, same. Location received. Let's hurry, rogue. I quickly make my way out to the location. Deeper in the city with Iris as my wayfinder. With the aid of both irises working together, I locate Loxley, loitering on a sidewalk outside of the bar, looking in through windows. Doesn't even react when I jog up to join him, slightly at a bath from the mad dash. Loxley. That's an easy name to actually make into sing song. Rogue. What's going on? You skipped team practice. I that I did. Mind telling me why your uh, Iris told me you're about to do something drastic. He nods towards a small group inside of the bar. Oh shit. Including a member of team play to win. Blitz, laughing and having a ball with his friends. Judging from the complex miming of the story he's telling, it's probably about how badly his team destroyed us. I have nothing. I can't even make this sing song yet. I feel like it's about to get serious, y'all. So you're thinking revenge? I'm thinking justice, rather violent justice. Don't need you committing assault Cause someone besmirched our good name Not our good name The good name of Coda. Oh shit What? You recall that we Recall that we built our legend on the ashes of Coda's dreams, right? Our viral video of his ranting is what drew media attention to M7 An unpleasant business, this we did that. That was us. We ruined a man to lift our own interests, did we not? <sighs> I sip, I sip. Coda didn't have to rant. He made his own decision and endured the consequence. He was a dick. Hold on. All we did was post a video and he's the one who supplied the content of that video when he ranted and raved and showed his true colors to the world. The only one to blame for that situation is Coda. The responsibility and consequences landed squarely on his shoulders. And actions should have consequences, yes. Quiet cruelties and injustices of this world should be exposed to the cold light of day. But if responsibility falls on him for his words, responsibility falls on us in turn for using those words to elevate our station. Most unfortunate. Perhaps we were unjust, perhaps we were cruel in the name of justice. I don't know, I just don't know anymore. To be honest, I'm having a difficult time with the concept of justice as of late. Walk me through it. What is on your mind? I'm kind of getting back to sing songy. I once thought that shaming Coda was justice, a player's bad attitude exposed, our underdog team proving to the world that such attitudes are unforgivable. But I started checking Coda's social media activity after that, at first to make sure he didn't come after the, us for a reprisal. And soon I came to realize we put a target on his back. Our video opened the floodgates for trolls, abusers, and harassers to go after, many of which claim to be our fans. His life has been steadily going downhill with the ones who gave him that first push. He was a gatekeeping bastard who... He's a human being. Humans err and to forgive is divine. Ah, uh, hmm. Fuck. Lately, 
back to content warnings. Please hear my earlier message about content warnings. Uh, cause this is where we get serious. I mean, we already kind of were, but you know. Lately his Facebook posts have been exposing a dark vein of depression. I think he's in a tailspin. You just seem angry as hell when we... That's okay, Alex. Oh, geez. Good luck with management training. That's exciting. Much love, sweetheart. I will talk to you later. Have a good night. Send my love to Jay. He just seemed angry as hell when he approached me at max. He accused me of cyberbullying him, I believe. When things fall apart, anger can give way to sorrow. If you like to see his face, well, I can show you. But trust me when I say it's a miserable thing. I'll take your word for it. But what does this have to do with Blitz? Koda's not even part of P2W anymore. Because Blitz has been reveling in the dog pile and posting your disgrace, go kill yourself, you useless fat nerd, again and again to... S I am going to punch Blitz. Sorry, apparently. Sing song through all the... Oh, God. You too, BK! I'm going to punch Blitz in the face. I'm just going to sing through all of my threats. Kind of where we're at at this point, I regrets. Listen, I see a bandwagon, I hate you. <laughs> I don't, but you know what I mean. H-Dog, <laughs> look what you started. This is your fault. Oh, jeez. He tries to swallow that moment of rage, the one that I inadequately... <laughs> I just put out the jump, 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 jump on it, jump on it. Anyways, nope. <laughs> How do I not get in trouble? Like, I really wonder sometimes. In that case, I have this amazing cryptocurrency to sell you now. <laughs> uh, it's a trap. It tries to swallow my rage properly, explain his thoughts, but it's still there under the surface. It is justice. I've no idea. All my life I've pledged myself to see justice done. Perhaps a foolish notion, but one I chased after willingly, earnestly, in absolute sincerity. Pizza bagel quick! <laughs> Crap, I love Adam here for it. Sign me up. Jump up, jump up, get down, jump, jump. Anyways, we're good. Um, we're apparently jumping on the pizza bagel coin bandwagon now. <laughs> and for a time, I had convinced myself that society could be saved. <laughs> that youthful energy and righteousness could prevail against those who hate and devour all the light of this world. Age dog, serious. Pizza pie, I'm a moron. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> oh, what was it? When. Oh. When it's all about bees and you mispronounce tree sycamore. <laughs> That's my favorite. Some, I don't remember the first line exactly, but something about bees. And then trees. Anyways. When the moon hits my eye like a pizza bagel in the sky, that's some more. <laughs> oh, I'm done. I don't even know. I don't even know. That killed me. That got me. That got me real good. Dr. King said, the moral arc of the universe is long, but bends towards justice. And I've done what I can trying to ensure that bend. Mm. Even if lately... I'm starting to wonder if the length of that bend is cosmic in scale. If we'll never see justice before humanity obliterates itself in hate and rage. So I literally had a conversation with somebody today where we we're talking kind of about how humans have destroyed the earth. And we're like, yeah, you know, it's been a good couple thousand year run. But uh, I guess we've kind of screwed ourselves over at this point. That apparently got them laughing. And I'm like, this is, I don't know why we're like this, but this is apparently what it is. What's the matter, you? Why you look so sad? This is a nice place. Shut up on your face. I know. 
small, small scale. I don't want to embrace dominoes. Come here, B. Kitsan. <gasps> nihilism, I suppose. But with Valkyrie put some battles dreams, back. And our own actions being hey, in line Fifi. with the likes of Blitz. <laughs> Loxley, put some battles back. You can't, you can't have that many battles, sir. Hi. Hello, Kitsan. Did you want to take on some battles for Loxley instead? How do you feel about the inevitable heat death of the universe? Allery, she's like, Mom, I don't really care. I just want that food. And scritches. Sorry, this has now become the cat butt cam. So this is what she likes to do, is she puts her paws on my shoulder, or on my chest, and just expects butt rubs. Just butt scritches. Hi. Can I help you? Hmm. You know you're the reason why I work. I just try to give you a good life. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> she also probably has glitter on her. Totally on it. Like full discretion, full, full transparency. She probably has glitter on her. There is no lack of glitter in this household. Hi, B. I know she's a little, she's getting to be a little, she's either a, I can't decide. Sometimes she's a long girl. Other times she's a chunk. Yeah. Your zoomies don't do much for you. Gotta start taking you for walks. She's like, no mother, just give me more treats. I like how her tail just continues to be there. Bleh. Okay, now you get cat tail. Oh, she was tiny yesterday. I mean, when I got her, she was just over a year old. So, or rather she was almost, she was just under two years old. So she was, she was small. She was kitten. And now she, she adults, kind of. She's still a baby. Hi, sweetie. What? Hi. What do you want from me? What are you doing? I'm having doubts. I'm in a moment of moral weakness. Come here. Come here. Come here. Nope, she's like, no mother. I know that you are on camera right now, and I only wish to destroy it so much. Hi, can I? This is her latest thing. She loves. This is how she gets my attention. And I very, very much want to go in there and break Blitz's legs. Loxley, same, buddy. Same. Cat walks across the keyboard, entire emotional scene with Loxley's skip. I know at the rate we're going here. B. 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 What? Are you jealous? Is that what's happening here? Hi. Okay. <laughs> Loxley. It's unbecoming of me. It's hardly nightly. <laughs> I tire of this. Aww. I tire of actions not having consequences. I tire of the endless loop of injustice. <laughs> Still filing that report on the refs. <laughs> I would like to see this report. I feel like I need to sign off as a witness. <laughs> Aside from my punishment by an unjust legal system, can you think of a good reason not to enact my will on Blitz? Please don't make me come up with an answer, because I don't have one. Fuck. <sighs> Two wrongs don't make a right. They make an illegal left turn straight into traffic. It's not alone in there. That's more the rational thought here. Because it's wrong. That alone would be enough for a chivalrous man. Loxley, it's wrong, and you know it's wrong, and you or you wouldn't be standing on the sidewalk pondering whether you should do this or not. If you're my knight, the one who truly loves me, even though we dropped that L-bomb a little too early in this relationship, but I digress, you'll look into my heart and know that I'm right about you. You aren't an evil person, and that you won't do this. Two wrongs don't make a right, but three will. <laughs> Loxley, second artisan, take one. Oh, shit. I know you, you feel guilty for hurting Koda. You wanna make things right, but you also know that hurting Blitz won't heal you, right? Be the man you've always wanted to be and do the right thing. Baka. He looks away ashamed. I offer my sincere apologies. 
As in all things, you hold wisdom beyond my own. This, this is, this won't help, won't solve anything. If I'm to stand against that, what Blitz stands for, for what Coda stood for, for that matter, it can't be done with the tools of the aggressor. Exactly. You don't fight fire with fire, you figure out what the water is in this situation. I must set the beacon alight and show the world there's a better way, a better champion to follow. Locks are the role model. Really? You're working with a shadow cabal of super hackers. In the name of justice for Iris, a crime I devote myself to gladly and far more than just just than what I was about to do. You have my gratitude, friend. You may have just saved me from committing a terrible error, Rogue. For that, you have my gratitude. I am just trying to not land us in jail, okay? Or the hospital. It is not going to work out in our best interest. I think you're already on the path to walking away from this. I just reminded you of that fact. Aye, aye. I fear I've not repaid your kindness seeing as I skipped team practice for this fool's errand. Whatever, nobody showed up. Huh, foul day in general for M7 then. Let me begin to make amends by assisting you in rallying the team, perhaps? I would not say no. I don't think I have enough time to track down everyone. You need but say the name and I'll be on task. <laughs> I like my role model, like my role models always say, commit only one crime at a time. Honestly, pacing, you gotta pace yourself. If you commit too many crimes at the same time, that is how you screw up and get caught. You gotta have focus and scope. If you're gonna be gay and do crime, you just gotta focus on one at a time. Ma'am, ma'am, what crimes are you committing? What crimes are you committing? Just hack their computer and do a bunch of evil searches. Little... Listen, I may have set my iris to already do that. Um. B. 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 G. Do crimes. Get away. I no longer remember if I'm choosing who I want to go after or if I'm choosing who Loxley should go after. Um. Ma'am. 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 Ma'am, your tail is gonna choose for me in about two seconds. Oop. Listen. I love this dumb child, but hear me out. Domino still might be back at the team apartment. Can you check? Shall be done. Fairly well. Okay, I sent him after that one. Who am I gonna check in with next? Uh, we're gonna go after Jinx. I'm most surprised that Jinx missed training. Not because she's an FOD2 junkie like me, but because she rarely leaves the building. Last I saw her, she was on, in her side of the team apartment, so maybe she's still there. Nyx is saying she deserves a treat for patiently waiting for a seven feeding. Hi. Ma'am. Did you want a treat? Is that what you're asking for? She just thinks she deserves a treat at all points. But just about to tap on a text out to her, Iris pops up on my screen. Rogue, alert, alert! What? You just got an audio message from Jinx, playing back now. I've got, like, cat hair all over my lips now. Ma'am. She just knocked my pencil off my table. I'll get that later. Oh, no, she got it. Thank you. That is coming to me now. She knocked it down under my bookshelf and then got it out for me. So, not what she intended, but we'll go with it. It's very faint, as if uh, someone's shouting at their phone from a full room away. Through the reverb and static hiss, I can make out the words. Oh, no. Need help, please. Need help. And Grace isn't responding, please. I immediately tuck my phone away and bolt towards the apartment. Okay. And I'm in the apartment in a flash, moving so quickly I almost accidentally leave my key in the lock. Ooh. Jinx, Jinx, what's going on? No Jinx. That's her phone on the toffee table, though, and her cat trying to get my attention. Minx dashes off on all fours. I, I love that it's Minx because it's so close to Nyx. Anyways, leading me to the bathroom where Jinx's fallen form lies on wet tiles in front of her shower. Oh no, baby. The half ruined shower curtain pulled from its rings and lying on the floor next to her. Jinx, I'm okay. I'll be okay. Just, just help me up, please. I grab her bathrobe and carefully help her off the floor. She takes the robe gratefully, looking away as she tugs it on. I need that bathrobe though. Listen, look, it's so cute. I need to, I need to sit down just for a bit. Here, lean on me one step at a time. We got this. I help her out to the living room. She's still drip drying, but her comfort matters more than carpeting. 
the... After tagging into the kitchen, she seems to shrink inside her robe, looking down in shame. I was taking a shower and my legs just gave out. Pulled the shower curtain down with me, made a mess. It's just water, it's no big deal. How are you? Do you need your medication? I may have a headache from the fall, but it shouldn't be, it shouldn't, fuck. My fault, it's all my fault, it's all my fault. Jinx, it's just an accident. Everyone has a little accident now and then. A little accident? I ruined everything. I did this, I did this to myself. I did this to, Oh, baby, what's wrong? After a short outburst of anger, she collapses into tears, wiping out her eyes with the sleeve of the robe. But it's just a shower curtain. I'm not talking about the fucking curtain. I'm talking about me, myself, this body I ruined myself. She takes her in a ragged breath and then tries to center herself to speak without her voice breaking. I string Amalia. It's not congenital. I wasn't born like this. I was in an accident. Car accident. Ten years ago. She takes a deep breath, wiping at her eyes one more time before continuing. I was a party animal. Wild child. Doesn't sound like me, I know, but that was me. House parties every weekend with the popular kids. Laughing, dancing, and age 15. Oh, and drinking, Just sorry. Learner's permit. Thought I already knew everything about driving. Thought I didn't need a chaperone holding my hand. Oh. Drove out to a party by myself. Completely drunk off my ass, then got behind the wheel and drove myself home. And you had an accident. Yeah, midnight, bad visibility, and the cat ran out on the road ahead of me. Swerved to avoid it. Lost control. Oh my god. The memory I have is waking up in the ICU after spinal surgery. Weeks later, we figured out why I was having limb weakness. Syringomalia. Cysts in my spinal cord due to the accident. Inoperable. She sniffs back another sob, looking away. I did this to myself. I screwed up, and now everyone's paying the price. Parents funding the surgeries and treatment. Gian adapting a new home for me. Can't support the team the way I should. Can't travel. Can't do much of anything without risk of an incident. Can't even take a shower. Without hurting myself. Aww. And begging a friend to help me after. I did this to myself. I broke myself. And. And. I can't forgive myself. I'm to blame. Everybody needs therapy in this house. Jinx. You probably hate me too. You should hate me. Didn't tell you because. Because I didn't. Want you to know what a fool I was. Oh, baby. Haven't told anyone other than Grace. I claim to be some sort of fun victim of fate. No, no, I, I did this. I fucked up. I fucked up bad. So, moral of the story is all of us fuck up. Uh, to err is human and to uh, forgive is divine. Apparently that is love for everybody's. Everybody is fucked up. We just need to forgive ourselves. And everybody in this house is getting therapy. We're gonna get a court, of, we're gonna get a, not a court appointed, we're gonna get a manager appointed therapist that you are all meeting with. There are seven of us, there are seven days in the week, they're gonna work full time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is there a therapy group on? I really hope so. It's okay to not be okay. I love that you've got all of those. That's so cute. Oh, that's perfect. It's definitely okay to not be okay. This is a self-loathing that runs deep. I can't pull this pain out and make it all better with a few choice words. No, of course not. Don't you respond well to kind-hearted, sentimental, good, feel good positiv positivism either. It's not the jinx I know. But I can be here for her. I can say what's in my heart in a way she'll understand. Failure doesn't define you. You have the power to overcome anything and everything in your way. Uh, or you think you'd be a burden to us. No, we support you because we care about you. That feels a little bit... You ready for a rogue pep talk? No. Tough shit, because you're getting one anyway. If you're angry at yourself for screwing up once upon a time, you know what? Okay. Be angry. You've got a right to that anger. But you got two roads ahead of you. You can let your, that anger stew and boil over until you hate yourself beyond any reasonable hate. Or you use that anger. 
get mad, feel that fire, pour it right in your fuel tank, put the hammer down and race towards the horizon. Tell yourself that this, this disability will not, cannot stop you. That you're too damn strong to do anything but break through everything it's throwing in your way. One failure doesn't have to define your fate. But one failure can be a teaching experience. One failure can give you motivation to be better. I think I'm giving this to myself at the same time. And you know what? I'd say you're already there. Jinx the reckless teenage party queen? No, that's not you. You're rational and clear-headed. You're three steps ahead of the rest of us most of the time. Focus on that. Focus on what you've become, what you've accomplished. The disability can go fuck itself. You are Jinx and you are invincible. And I sit back satisfied. She, I, you know. As for Jinx, she stopped crying. Invincible. Could get used to that word. Unlearning this feeling of being useless is not easy, but... But I'm not alone, am I? Never were. Grace and Joan had your back. Now, so do I. So do all your friends. See, I would have gone with a hug and rock jigs in our lap until we catch up. Help us <laughs> Fair. Nah, I'm all for the, like, high spirit pep talk. I'm like, you know what? No, fuck you. You're a badass. Okay. She reaches for a nearby box of tissues, grabs a small fistful of them, and blows her nose before continuing. Still not thrilled my past deeds. Who is? But I know you stand with me despite them. Maybe it's time. Time for what? Time to tell the others. Tell them what I did. How this happened. You don't have to share it with everyone if you don't want to. No, no. My... Normalize the idea in my own head. Make it feel less like a dark secret if it's no longer a secret at all. Might be the first step to accepting it. How do you do it? Do what? Storm into our lives and change them overnight. This has not been overnight. I have been working on y'all for a few months at this point, okay? Grace and Joan have told me again and again not to blame myself that I'm valid and loved. Impressive. Never sank in, but you say it and I'm already feeling less like a useless sack of crap. Probably just a tipping point hearing it from a third source, but I'm no psychotherapist. And you think I don't give myself enough credit? Ugh. Least I can do is go clean myself up and get back to living my life. Go play some video games with you and thanks. Oh, damn team practice. Damn. Missed the whole thing, didn't I? Damn it. Self-care comes first above team practice or anything else. You're not alone in missing it. Nobody showed up, so don't feel guilty over being the only one to ditch. Never feel guilty about having to duck out of something, Jinx. Self-care is an absolute priority. And that goes for everybody in chat. And I'd say that to anyone on the team, not just to you, okay? Okay, if you do the same for anyone on the team and not just me. I want my friends happy and healthy. FOD2 will always be a lower priority than that. But we will never win the championship if we don't practice more. Sorry, I'm finding weird voices to do for this, uh, the haunted version now because it's entertaining and honestly, this thing scares me. So... <laughs> Oh my, I, oh, hmm, no, I will come after you. Practice can be a form of self-care, but only if you're up for it. Self-care is about listening to your body. You are not useless, Two Flower, I swear to God. But it'll be a joke of, I don't have any good threats and I need to stop threatening people. Um, but it's so true, like you don't, productivity does not deem your value. Productivity, like that is not... Your value is not determined by your productivity or what you produce or what you create or what any of that. That does not put value on anybody's life. Practice can be sometimes self-care, but it can also be having a shower and hopefully not hurting yourself. Um, it can be rage quitting life and going into the couch going into a cabin in the woods, never to be seen from or heard of again. That's self-care. Okay. Y'all did I, <laughs> tell that to my boss earlier today, you betcha. But it's accurate. So I take it you're running around trying to hurt the cats now? Hey, it's a living. <laughs> my brain went to rent! <laughs> it's a living. I didn't recognize you without the handcuffs. Anyways, nope. So many friends who've tied productivity to their self with had that, conversa had that conversation a ton of times. Running away to live in Bali for $7 at a day for, at a five-star resort is 100% self-care. 
Listen, I'm considering that idea more and more. <laughs> like, I, I, there, oh god. Only if there's Wi Fi, I need my TikTok. Honestly, if I have Wi Fi, like, I'm good. And sometimes eating your phone uh, out a window is also self care. I haven't done it out a window recently. It's getting really late, so I think I should check back in at the arcade and see if anyone's shown up. Okay, give me 10 minutes to get slightly presentable and I'll come with you. Yeet, yeet, motherfucker! <laughs> Story of my life, okay? Yeah, this day has been a week for real. I can't believe less than 48 hours ago we got it completely annihilated by those who shall not be named. And I've been so busy running around getting the team back together that I haven't really had a chance to get myself together too. We should vote. Mm. Self-care isn't selfish. Can't ignore that. No, there is time for them. I'm mad at myself now. But as I walk back into the arcade to see if anyone has shown up, I notice that everyone has shown up. It's up to me to rally the team after a long day of personal troubles. My own feelings will have to stay swallowed for a bit longer. No, they don't! Family on the West Coast and friends are all in other countries. But Parker, the team. Listen, I need to practice what I preach. Otherwise, I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> and we can't have that. Ah, there's no I in team. Not with that attitude. I got nothing. But there is tea. Can someone get me a caffeinated beverage? But there is meat. Time to prep. <laughs> Time for pet pizza. Oh my God. You y'all are very interesting motivational speakers. I hope you know that. Uh, my own feelings have to stay swallowed a bit longer. No, they shouldn't. This is how we need to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. That is how this is going down. Check me before I wreck me. Somebody, please. Game face on. Be the leader they need. No, can we not? I have this conversation with myself too often. This is... Uh, once again, we hit a period of time. There is no Z in sleep. This team, so never sleep again. <laughs> Rip. Rest in spaghetti, never forgetty. Hello, friends. <laughs> Difficult day, yes? And yet, here we are. We persevere as I knew we would. I beat the three of you. Kind of touch and go here, but I'm ready and focused. Are we doing this? Having a practice? Let's not push it, shall we? Good enough that we're showing some commitment. No need to commit ourselves to massive overtime as well. Good thinking. Oh, hello, team. I forgot. It's not that I forgot about you. I just didn't check in on you. I think we should definitely wait up on practice. I've had a pretty awful day. Unpleasant conversation with my sister. A night of rest would be welcome. I am way too goddamn drunk right now to be of any use in a practice. <laughs> Zapper! Girl, you didn't invite me? I agree. We wait until tomorrow. Unrelated. Anyone got aspirin? Water and carbs. Don't get me wrong. I'm still happy we all showed up. Show was promised we can go beyond this, but maybe we can just start fresh tomorrow. It's been a difficult day for us all, but it means a lot for me to see you here, definitely. We all need rest. Motivational speech time. My energy's waning, but I have to take advantage of this moment. Rally them all, we're all together. Okay, so Valkyrie and her team really hit us hard. Hey, Zap, are you on? <laughs> yeah, Zap needs some pizza. She needs Za, like, right now. Or a pizza bagel. So Valkyrie and her team really hit us hard, and it hurt, but you know what? As much as that loss hurts, we won't shake what we've made together. Even if it hurts to lose that badly in public and against team play to win, we're still together. We're still a Magnificent Seven. And you know what? I'm proud of us. I'm living together, training together, but not just for glory for each other, for the team, for our friendship. <laughs> the friends we made along the way, okay? So even if we lost this time, we still have each other. Still have those bonds we made together, something Valkyrie can never take away. I know it's been a difficult time. Everybody's dealing with a lot, even outside the charity show match results. But I have faith. I have faith in us, and I know we'll overcome all the challenges in the end. We can still do this, right? Exactly. 
You know, I never really cared about the glory, but I still care about the team, about all of you. Without all of you, I'd be in a far worse place. That's the truth of the matter. You helped keep me you helped me keep it together. And I'm not a planning to abandon ship on that anytime soon. The Magnificent Seven will all for all that we are and all we believe in, we shall endure. I'm glad you feel the same way. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Got a long road ahead of us in these last few weeks to secure a slot in the Pro Tour and get ready to take on Valkyrie again. There's no need to rush at it. Let's get some rest and come at it fresh tomorrow. Together, nothing is going to stop M7. Let's have a rousing cheer for... I have a feeling I don't like this interruption. I love you boys, however. Pardon, excuse me, excuse me pardon me, one side. Oddly enough, Ben and Matt enter the arcade walking with her... There we go. Like, that's just it. It wasn't my internet, because clearly my messages were going through. With J... OBS was so mad at your joke that it decided to crash. Which is so funny. I can't even. Thank you. I am back. I apologize for that. I don't know what happened there, but I'm blaming H-Dog's joke. There's someone outside the laundromat asking to talk to you. Okay. What did the sour have him come in then? We deliver only the message, not the messenger. He said he needs to talk to you outside, so that's what we came to tell you. Shabby looking fellow, glasses wearing an old white and yellow jacket. Coda. Honestly, not up for whatever this is. Not when I'm this tired, when I've pumped this much en out this much energy to keep my friends going. It's not like I can ignore it. I feel almost obliged to investigate. Okay, everybody head on home. I'll go see what he wants and join you in a few minutes. What is this about? I don't think it's good. I don't... Uh... Casual reminder of content warnings for this, this episode, y'all. I'm just gonna put this out there. I feel like some heavy shit is coming in. And it's only one person that I know that matches Ben's description. Former member of Team Play to win, the one whose viral video rant humiliated him, Coda. Standing on the sidewalk in front of the busy street, late evening traffic moving by, from, moving by from green light to green light, to cast a weird glow in the slumped form. Last time I saw him, he was a ball of anger and rage, accusing me of ruining his life. But this, this is different. Loxley mentioned being actively cyberbullied and falling into depression. Looks like that's the case. He looks broken, tired, and disheveled, and his old team jacket still hanging off his frame. Hey. Hey, um, can I help you, Coda? Not, no, not really. In fact, I'm here to help you. He looks awkwardly down the street, rubbing at his neck before continuing. She beats you too, huh? In the end, she always gets what she wants. She always wins. I want to protest, but that's the same passion I brought to the table minutes before. But I just can't find the words. Yeah, she beat us too. Guess that makes us both losers. No way around it. We lost everything. I think I understand you now. We're both scared of the same thing, aren't we? Being nothing. But that's okay. I know what we need to do. Neon sign of content warning because I think this is going to get very heavy. Koda, wait, what are you... And he steps backward onto the street, directly into the path of an oncoming bus. I know, why is Coda's next- why was it highlighted like Polybius? I wonder the same. I instinctively reach out, but come up just short, grasping at his jacket sleeve and missing. And then it's all over. And nothing would ever be the same again. Yeah, I figured it was text. 
Level complete. Hence the question mark after continue. Oh, well, you've cleared level six of Arcade Spirit's new challengers. I guess we should take a look at your scores. Please don't forget that you're a gentle, sweet, and compassionate soul. It's important. Also, you've scored 37,300 points. Hooray! Even I... There we go. There we go. And if you or a loved one... This is, this is, this is to anybody watching and or eventually playing this game because you should play it even, even with all the feels. If you or a loved one are feeling like life isn't worth living, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline 1-800-273-8255. I feel... I think I saw something somewhere that that line may be changing at some point too, but also like, please. Um, if anybody actually needs any, like needs to talk or like wants to talk because this is how they're feeling or Coda is far too relatable, please feel free to reach out to me. Please reach out to somebody above all else. Like, I know I joked about, you know, <laughs> the world destroying itself, but individual lives matter very, very much. Everybody, every individual matters. Your worth is not defined by your productivity. You, you still have value no matter what, even if you don't do anything. So tell people you love them because life is exceptionally short. Um, as a very weird side note, I have stopped somebody, not from, not from that, but like from them accidentally almost walking into oncoming traffic. Like they just weren't paying attention. I managed to pull them out of it. It is a lot. Do you want to save your game? Yep. We're going to save different files somewhere else here. Okay. But L7 is called Fight to Survive. So we're going to play a little bit longer because this, that is not the note I feel like ending tonight on. Um, so we are going to also, uh, this makes me want to break Blitz's legs even more. I'm not going to lie. All life is worth keeping. However, Blitz's legs deserve to be broken. Hear me out. <laughs> After all I've been through now, I'm still here. Someone will have to put in the work Bunch to take me out. <laughs> from Fight Shack here with a breaking news story. Oh, you can even hear it in Punchy's voice. Oh, that's that. No one deserves to be cyberbullied. Nobody deserves that shit. Alex Zhu, Coda, age 24. Incident outside, good, clean, fun. Oh, fuck. Ben and Matt, too. That's gonna be not great for business. Many questions, but few answers. More to come. Be kind to each other. Former Play to Win member Coda, also known as Alex Zhao, is currently in critical condition at Memorial Hospital. Okay, critical condition. The situation is still ongoing, but initial reports indicate this was an attempted suicide. It's gonna sound really weird. I, I like, I'm really glad that it's not confirmed death at this juncture. I'm hoping he pulls through. I'm hoping that's a nice upspin in level eight. Um, purely because if they start, I have, I am not like if somebody like in, in video games and movies and everything, if someone dies, it's not that death that gets me. It's everybody else's response and reaction to it. Because I start to feel what everybody else is feeling. And I start... It's not mimicking it or mirroring it. It just becomes feeling that. And so if I don't have time to process it myself, that's how it goes through. I think so too. So I, I appreciate that in a lot of ways. Because um, it allows for hope. Oof. Coda's fall from grace began with a viral video rant against everybody's favorite up-and-coming laundromat team, resulting in his team dropping him from the roster. Victoria Proud, recently unretired player and his former coach, simply stated that her team has had no business dealings with Coda since that day. No business dealings. Which means there's nothing, nothing you can really legally tie to the team. However, with the esports scene in turmoil after the surprise victory at Pengi Paradise, and now this tragic incident, keep an eye on Fight Shack for updates. You can, it's like, kudos to the voice actor for Punchy because you can just kind of hear the weight in his voice as he reports on this. Oh, 
why am I still playing through level seven? I get the feeling that some bad things are still gonna happen. Um, doing a quick look through. So fallout and discussion continue. So cyberbullying, fallout and discussion continues in this level as a content warning. Um, and police interaction, if uh, as my other content warning right now. At the top of this. It is the distant future year 20-something or other, and I am very, very tired. I just watched an old rival- like, that also, too, the trauma of watching that? That is something that, like, needs serious- you need to take care of yourself. This was a conversation I had with a coworker um, who lost a family member to suicide, unfortunately. And my- my biggest- thing still is to this day I'm like you get help make sure you get help make sure you talk to somebody because I've also seen death of somebody live far too long with somebody like have that impact of the death continue to haunt them and continue to impact them for years decades um I know somebody recently finally started to get therapy um after they lost their mom like years ago at this point and they didn't, it took them until now to finally start recognizing the impact it actually was having on them because they just threw themselves into work. Um, and that was what they did for the entire time I've known them. Um, so, and that wasn't suicide. I think that was a health issue, a health complication, but it's still, that lives with you. That kind of trauma, even watching somebody do this, it's traumatic. So trauma is not to be undervalued whatsoever. I guess it's my short version here. Anyways, I just watched an old rival walk into traffic right before my very eyes. I still remember that smile on his face as he did it like it was a relief. Naturally, the police were on the scene moments later, so I had to stick around while they sorted out the situation. Perhaps because the cops got defunded and massively reorganized a few years ago. Sorry. Supporting that hugely. Defund the police. Def Put that, put those program, put that money into social work. Throwing yourself into work is the extrovert and sort of trauma. I do not endorse. Yeah, it's not. It's not healthy. It's not good for anybody. Um, I'm, uh, I, I'm not immediately presumed guilty and arrested. Yay! God, I want this to be our future. At least this aspect of it. Instead, they calmly ask a few questions because they've had proper, you know, de-escalation training and whatnot. Talk to eyewitnesses, check the traffic cameras, confirm I didn't push Coda into the street, and that's the end of that. I appreciate the hell out of that. But the process of gathering all the details is still slow, and it's past midnight, and I'm just so goddamn tired. I could leave anytime I like. I'm not in custody. I'm just standing around as they sort through it all. But every time I turn to go, there's someone new asking new questions. Hi, gorgeous. Sorry, I should not be hitting on the cop. Ooh. Why does that necklace look familiar? Anyways, sorry, I'm good. She's just really pretty, okay? A woman with a lanyard and a rather shiny. <laughs> You're right! Oh my god, she does look like Stacey London. I love it. I'm here for it. I live. This is very pretty. <laughs> Hear me out. A woman with a lanyard and a rather shiny badge approaches me next because it's concern her eyes. Are you going to be my new court-appointed therapist, please? I love the heart. Detective Ji Wucho. You're Parker, right? How are you holding up? When they want you to talk, they send the pretty ones. Listen! Listen, it would work on me, okay? <laughs> I am... Do not trust. Do you want to see a mental health care worker? Should. I have a few from this community that you could talk to. I like that that's where your lead- I like that she, that's where she's starting. I appreciate that. I've already spoken to two different social workers, thanks. I have business cards aplenty. Look, I've given my full statement to the accidental death investigation team. I really don't have anything more to say. Oh, I'm with a different unit. I work cybercrime investigation. Cybercrime? Is this because of the way Coda was being cyberbullied? In part, yes. My team investigates online harassment and death threats. We can take these things seriously now that we have proper funding to look into them. Hey, that's where the money went. Good. 
are you Winnie the Pooh? Because you're always loving that honey pot. Listen. H Dog, you're gonna shut down OBS again, okay? <laughs> My nephew suggested I talk to you if it helps. Jack Cho, you know Ms. Domino. That's your nephew? I love your nephew. I was this close to saying because I hate you guys. I don't, I love you, but at the same point. Domino's aunt works with the police. The world's full of surprises. I don't know yet if Coda's situation falls under my team's expertise, but given his involvement in his esports, I think it's probable. Maybe you can help me figure this out if you have time to talk. Hey, cab! <sighs> it's getting late. I'm tired. I can't think straight. Can it wait? Look, it's pushing midnight, and I've had a very long day. I'm not going to be much use to you in this state. How about you give me your card, and if I think of anything, I give you a call. Detective Cho nods, passing me a fairly cheap-looking business card. Anything you can recall might be useful. I suspect something's going on here beyond typical social media fights, and you never know what piece of evidence will unlock it all. Thank you for your time. Get some rest. Talk to a care worker when you can. Finally. Time to put this mess behind me and get some rest. Put it all out of my head. Forget it ever happened. Good luck. One good night's sleep will make all this go away. Mm, no, it won't. Trauma does not go away because you sleep eight hours. I didn't even like the guy, so who cares? What What does it matter? I know, I know. I debated it, but I think the vibe in this moment is very... We're tired. I need to establish some boundaries. I'm just so tired. So tired. H-Dog, I will get you a plastic sheriff badge. I got a business card. I collect them now. It's fine. Gradually, I push my way through the halls, past my worried friends, reach my bed, and crash into the darkness. Mm, I can ask Domino about it later. That's the other thing. I just watched a man nearly die tonight. That could have been me. I could have lost all hope and given up. You... Mother. <laughs> yes, that's right. He was just like me. He lost everything. Yeah, the idea was on the lanyard around her neck. See, there we go. But I, I found love in a hopeless place. I found companionship. Isn't that enough? Couldn't that be enough? When has that ever been enough? I can't deny my ambition. I can't deny my dream, my victory. I crave it. I need it. Now more than ever, I swear. Coda needed it too. I really wonder if Coda had any interactions with Polybius and if that's what also pushed this a little bit further, but it also could just be straight up depression. It's very likely. Okay, so H Dog, are you telling me I should have flirted with her more and gotten her phone number? Is that what you're suggesting to me of all people? Because <laughs> technically I got her business card, so I could get it. I mean, <laughs> this is the wrong time to be thirsting, and I'm very aware of that. Coda needed it too, but he came up short just like me. Listen, H Dog's the best wingman you could ever ask for, okay? <laughs> We completely lost our momentum. We were on top of the world. And then we failed in front of everyone. Just like Coda. And is that all I have to look forward to? Burning out like he did? If the only alternative is giving up my dream, maybe burning is inevitable. Maybe burning is inevitable. But if I'm going to burn, it won't be like he did. I'll burn myself on the altar of my own making. I'll strike the match and smile. I don't know if I like where this is going. Yes, that's right. I won't give up. I won't admit defeat. This is my dream. I will see it through no matter the cost. Um, nope. There are some costs not worth paying. I'll prove that I will never stop. And if I can't win, at the very least, I'll know my, they'll know my dedication when they see the flames. Listen, the only arson we're committing is the building that Loxley and I may or may not have set on fire and you can't prove anything. And that's pretty much it. The world will see. They'll know my name. I'll finally be worth a damn. I'll be a winner. I've got work to do. I've got work to do. Pop. Ah, 
but what? But hear me out. What about second arson? There are two great forces in this universe: justice and fair play. I'm saving for two seconds. <laughs> oh boy, unprocessed trauma meeting long-standing mental health pro problems. Everything is fine. All my life I've struggled to uphold those ideals. Fair play, genuine equality and balance for all correcting mistakes of the past to ensure a perfect future. And justice, which enacts fair play on those who would seek to disrupt it. A difficult prospect when the systems of the world rarely do more than offer these ideals lip service. An ideal can be difficult to define, much less an act upon reality. What is fair play? What is justice? And when do you need to violate one to ensure the other? For example, loyalty. Oh, this is all Loxley right now. Are we in your mind palace? I'm not used to this. For example, loyalty. I hold loyalty to Rogue. Whom I've grown to care for deeply, I hold loyalty to M7. But there are others whom I hold loyalty to. And they are often not on the same page. The name I have chosen for myself is Loxley, but it's more a nom de guerre, a name intended for war. That war existed long before Magnificent Seven. Hi! You look great, sorry. Finding myself another goth girlfriend. Hi, Sue. Don't like meeting out in the open like this. Too many damn cameras around. More like Foxley. <laughs> I, okay, you should have seen me freak out when I realized that, uh, Loxley was part of this group. Um, like, the ghost, the ghost monsters, like, or what, I think it's ghost monsters, I, like, I lost it, because I got, I realized with the tie-in with his handkerchief, with his, the neck, the neck piece. Um, because that's what the, all of them had in the other game, too, and I thought it was just, I didn't think, I didn't think. Too many damn cameras around, and you know the pigs will be watching like a hawk since that putz coda took a dive two days ago. My first ally, my companion in war, Tsunami, leader of the ghost monsters, notorious hacker group. Ah, I'm good. I wasn't around when the ghost monsters turned their backs on Deco Nami and went underground. I joined the struggle later to aid the Iris Collective. Sue's always seen me as the new guy compared to her longtime allies. My leash, is, my leash is rather short, and asking her to join me in the alley behind good, clean fun was not helping that. You have my thanks. Nevertheless, I appreciate you meeting me here. I'd like to stay close to home in case Rogue needs me. I fear the incident with that putz, as you so gently put it, may have troubled my ally. Surely you can see why I'd wish to play the role of emotional support, yes? Sorry, I just want to see the rough full outfit here. I love it. That's the other thing I don't like. You going deep on this Magnificent Seven thing. Loxley, we asked you to start visiting this laundromat so you can keep an eye on Grace and protect her, not so you can start a damn esports team. Any spotlight on you is a spotlight on the rest of Ghost Monsters, and that means a potential spotlight on the Iris Collective. It's dangerous. An unsound notion, I'm afraid. Sue, when you gave me this assignment, you said I could handle it my way. I can make contact with Grace, even befriend her. Yeah, well, yeah, well, if you just lurked behind her all the time without identifying yourself, it'd be fucking creepy. If I'm to be Grace's ally and friend, I must support her interests. She's interested in Mix Magnificent Seven. It looks suspicious if I didn't blow my cover if I didn't take part. Really? And that's the only reason you agreed to become a public figure? Not because you're interested in Rogue? Ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lies. I'm worried, okay? This is messy. This is beyond messy. We're doing this as a favor to the Iris Collective, making sure their mother is safe and sound. You're endangering her by getting tangled up in this. Let's not forget that the enemy was in contact with Rogue back at Max, or that Rogue had a Polybius encounter. Most unfortunate. Yes, I know, and I regret accidentally dragging them into the shadows. Thank you for authorizing me to tell them about our little organization. I doubt I could have retained their trust if I hadn't. This is only going to get more complicated, isn't it? I'm tempted to pull you out of your assignment and have you work the server farm instead, cutting these people out entirely, but... I have a feeling if I asked you to abandon them, you might tell me to take a walk. I am loyal to my allies, to the ghost monsters. I wouldn't... Allies? I thought we were friends. Or are your new friends more friendly than your old ones? Uncertainty abounds. 
I'm uncertain how to answer that. Fortunately, Sue bites her lip, realizing she may have stepped a bit over the line with that question. Who are you gonna call? Ghost monsters! Anyways. Oh, fuck, sorry. I get it, okay, you care about them, and you're in love with Rogue, I'd be a total jerk butt to ask you to dump them. And if you'd rather abandon ship on the ghost monsters so you can live honestly as one of them, I'd understand. Sue, so, I hadn't meant to imply that. I'd be a shitty friend if I weren't willing to let you follow your heart. I'm not saying you have to decide now, but think about it, okay? <laughs> You're done, Loxley. Turn in your ask on your Molotov that you constantly have on hand. But think about it, okay? If you're finding it too hard to be an operative and a member of M7, just tell me. Don't forget, I was cool with Inky leaving the group so he can be a better brother to his little sis. No hard feelings. I got three goals. Keep the Iris Collective going. Stay out of prison. Make sure my friends are happy. Okay, now I kind of want her shirt. I just ordered my other one! Well, no, I didn't just. I got it the other week. I have my ideals I hold fast to. I understand when such things conflict. For the record, there, yeah, Redbubble has the designs from Fiction Factory Direct. But no one's heard from Inky since. Oh shit. I have my own ideals I hold fast to. I understand when such things conflict. For now, I intend to stride with one foot in both worlds. Rogue knows my truth and chose to enter into a relationship with me regardless. I trust Rogue, I care for them, and I will do my best to support them and you, Sue. Aw, oh, shucks. She laughs off my sincerity, of course. Open expressions of emotion are not quite her thing. Sue prefers not to take anything in life seriously if she can avoid it, even if the weight of the world she's chosen to bear pushes down on those shoulders. Jeez. Kinda miss the days where we pranked arcades and hijacked websites, playing games, and having fun. Who knew taking on the duty of protecting a new form of life would be this complicated? Maybe I'm just getting old. Sue, you're 20 years old. I'm more aged than you, and you can't even legally drink yet! Yeah, well, I feel 70-12 or something. Okay, enough chit-chat. I gotta get out of here while the getting's good. You go have fun with Rogue. I, uh... Huh. I see. <laughs> yes, well... well <sighs> Rogue is figuring some things out after the Coda incident. I'm giving them some space. Beep beep, my lord! I have a missive from your widow Snowgums. Oh my god! Okay! Listen! Sir? We're changing my name in your phone. That is not standing. Whittle Snuggums. I haven't established a proper cutesy nickname for romantic liaison yet, and Mary intends to flights of fancy. But if Rogue is ready to reach out to me after some soul searching, it's a good sign, yes? Yeah, I'm gonna leave you to that. Yeah, I got nicknamed Whittle Snuggums. I'm clearly very impressed with this right now. Later. So this missive, what does it say, Marion? The team will be gathering shortly and get clean fun for a big announcement. Announcement? I'd hoped for a heart to heart with Rogue to help them with their feelings in the wake of Coda's unfortunate accident. I'm afraid that's all the data I have, my lord. Shall I request clarification from your Whittle Snuggums? No, no, it's fine. I'll attend to the gathering shortly and please just call them Rogue if you please. Marion is living her best life. We cannot fault her. Very curious. What is Rogue up to? I'm hopeful, hopeful for the best. I return to good, clean fun to join my friends. How long do we stay as Loxley? We don't have control over ourselves anymore. Y'all. We, we are no, that, that whole thing triggered, um, Polybius to take over, I think. That's why we're Loxley right now. I think. I wouldn't be surprised if we continue, this is, this is wild. Um, when I arrive at the arcade, everyone else has arrived before me. <laughs> the DM took over your character. I'm not going to be surprised by this. I arrived at the arcade. Everyone else arrived before me. Everyone except our coach slash cat wrangler slash manager. Hey, any idea what this is about? Haven't talked with Rogue all damn weekend. Don't think any of us have. No clue what this meeting's about. Why do I get the feeling Rogue's gonna break up the band? And now I'm gonna talk to myself in third person. 
I'm sure it's just announcing we've been resuming team practices, right? We've been on an unofficial hiatus since Pengi Paradise, but... That would make sense. We've only got a month until the Pro Tour finale. No, that's not a lot of time. But we were already in excellent shape on that front. The loss of Pengi Paradise didn't change our standing. But we may have bigger concerns than the uh, shiny tin cup. Rogue went rogue! Yeah, that's a sense of irony. I'm not gonna lie. I did not choose that name for that reason, but okay. The shoe is fitting far too well. Depends on how Rogue deal is dealing with things. I wonder if we take over another character if we romance someone else. I wonder too. Guess we're about to find out. Oh, yeah? Is that the case? Okay, cool. Huh. No need to speculate further. Rogue emerges into the arcade, pocketing their phone on arriving. Yeah, it's like absolutely genius, but it also ties in... I wonder what happens if you choose to romance nobody. It might just be who you're closest with. And you'll go friendship only if you play as Iris. It... And if you go friendship only, you play as Iris. There we go. Thank you. That makes sense. Everybody's here. Good, good. Is this where I quit and go start on my own? Because I decide that... I have a feeling I'm not going to like the words coming out of my mouth. I have a strong feeling about this. I've got a lot of work to... Okay, not bad. We've got a lot of work ahead of us between now and the Pro Tour Finale event. I'm sending you each a shared document. This is our new blueprint for the next month. The schedule of training, online tournaments, qualifying matches, and more. My phone vibrates as the document arrives in my inbox. Taking cursory look through the organized pile of colored boxes, names, and events, nearly the entire month is blocked out. Full month of activity planned right down to the minute. Iris ran the numbers, and this is the optimal path for ensuring our victory in the Pro Tour. We're gonna take it's going to take hard work and dedication, but I know we can do it. I wanna, anyone have any questions? Yeah, when's your first therapy appointment? And the silence is uncomfortable until Zapper steps forward. Uh, wait, what? Um, if I'm reading this right, you have me scheduled to take part in an online tournament at four in the morning. It's a tournament hosted out of Australia, so that's six in the evening for them. Technically, the tournament lasts from six till midnight, so you'll be need to ready. You'll you'll need to be ready to play from four to ten in the morning. No. A bit concerning, that. Sleep is for the week. Well, I mean, you also have me on here for training from sunup to sundown tomorrow. I'm not seeing any time off for breaks, or food, or proper proper personal hygiene. Honestly, Loxley, you're our weakest player right now. You need to sharp your skills if you're going to make it into the pro tour. Ouch! I do want to do right by the team, I suppose, if this is what it takes to consider myself prepared, but even so, showers are for the weak, then I am weak, F off of that nonsense. Yeah, that's, whatever. I am weak then. I accept my fate. Get in the way of my nap and see what happens. You want me to take part in a tournament in Nevada. All the way on the other side of the country at Max Vegas in one week's time. Iris has already made travel arrangements. There's a lot of qualification points on offer, and if you and I can win, it'll help our standing quite a bit. Rogue, travel is not something I can easily do. Can't just toss some shirts in a bag and go. Gambling is for the week. Need to check disability accommodations. Research, verify there are clear routes to the venue. Iris already did that for you. That's all arranged. You can tune and tweak to your liking. Then I am weak. Well, this sucks. Wonderful. Jet lag. Here we come. You know what? I'm just going to come out and say it. This is you overreacting to Coda's downfall, isn't it? See? Trauma leads to overworking. And also interacting with a sentient machine probably did not help. You're pushing us all to the wall because you don't want to end up like him. This isn't about Coda. This is about seeing Magnificent Seven through the finish line. Look, two days ago, I gathered you all here to rally you behind that cause. It was a rough day for us, sure, but we got through it. Ah, another fine inspirational speech on the way, it seems. Normally I'd be all for it, but something feels off. Common sense is for the weak. Well, yeah, that explains a lot. Feels a bit forced, like a desperate ploy to make this work, not a heartfelt sentiment. I wonder what sort of speech it'll be this time. I feel like I don't have a choice. Top two identity traits, ident intense identity situation. So I can make a choice. Mm. 
I'm not gonna pretend this won't be hard. The schedule of design is gonna kick our ass and kick it hard. I know <laughs> that I am wait. But I like Commons. Passion is for the week. <sighs> when I say our ass, I'm including my own ass in the kicking. I'm ready to sacrifice to fight to do what it takes to do this. Started something with them, something seven, but amazing. We owe it for ourselves to see it through to the end. Or do you want to live the rest of your life wondering what we could have done if we hadn't given up? Don't want to live in a world of what could have been. I want to live in the world of my own design. I want to make this happen. I'm asking that you stand. H Dog, what I'm understanding is everybody is weak and we just all have to accept that fact. And the sooner we can forgive ourselves and learn to accept ourselves as we are, the better we will be. I'm gonna go with that. That is the secret message, it's not really. Everyone's weak except Valkyrie, oh my god. No, we do not stand Valkyrie. I'm gonna put you in a timeout. Um, I'm asking that you stand with me, stand your friend, stand with your friends, lift each other up and hold fast as we ride out the storm. Together we'll annihilate all challengers, even P2W, and in the end we will be the last team standing justice for Valkyrie. Don't worry, H Dog. When she loses, you'll be singing a different tune. Be prepared. Are you ready to fight? Backing down from a fight is not the way of Zapper. I've stood by you before. No reason. I'm going to stop now, even if it, even if it means involuntary insomnia. Can't be a mod if you haven't been timed out. It's a rite of passage. It's going to be an absolute nightmare, but you're not wrong. We can do this, and we owe it to ourselves to try. Count me in. Something is wrong. Fine speech, I, but I've come to know Rogue, and they know me, my true name, my true self, Melvin. Oh, he's such a funny boy. I've been more vulnerable to each other, and I'm sensing that now. I don't like this empty need I'm feeling. It's maybe worth talking to Sue about if it's what I fear it may be. But for now, I'll play along, if only to keep Rogue safe. I pledge loyalty to you, and that holds true now more than ever. I love seeing inside the, the head of uh, your, your name is Melvin now. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I love being able to see inside the head of your romantic interest. Like that, now more than ever, I really want to play through the other, oh, everybody. <laughs> Dating everyone. And my thanks, all of you. Now it's time for our amazing training montage. Diddly Wait, we can just zip through this with three minutes of up-tempo rock music and some jump cuts? Wow, that makes it so much easier. I meant that figuratively, not literally. Oh. We are getting a montage. Kind of. 4 a.m. Offer to brew more coffee. Oh, he's annoyed. Okay. Fair. It's gonna ruin all my... That didn't go well! I'm just slowly destroying all of my relationships, aren't I? You win! You win! Winner! Ganyo! I don't like either of these options! These are bad options. Oh yeah, there we go. I don't like using this. I don't like these answers. Yep, okay, that's fair. I'm not surprised you don't like me right now either. I'm assuming the swirlies are bad. <laughs> this, oh, it's so toxic. This is worse than a Britney Spears song, okay? No, Britney Spears music is always good. But. This is, this is, this, you. training montage we wanted oh we're right here. punchy wraps it i 
I don't like these. No, the only queen we stand in this household is Queen Bee. Queen Bee is the only queen. I can't joke about somebody having a stroke. I don't like that. Queen, okay. Also, like, y'all missed it. Me, me full on fangirling when Queen Bee came out because I miss her and I love her. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. That made me so happy. Okay, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I hate this. Take the surprise me pizza. Sorry, it always makes me laugh. Look, you know me. Something someone tells me I can't do a thing, I knee him in the happy sack and tell him, yes, I fucking can. So I'm not saying we can't qualify for the pro tour and kick some serious ass. I'm not saying we can't put Valkyrie in the ground. Oh, this sucks. But I'm sick of this. I'm sick of the color-coded spreadsheet and staying up all hours training and fighting. I wanna go back to having fun like we used to have, and this, this isn't fun. Took an oath to support Rogue's dreams, and we did we not. We pledged to make Magnificent Seven soar. You took a damn oath. I just said I'd be fun to take it'd be fun to take on the pro tour. I'd be fine, I'd be it'd be fine. Something there. Uh no pinky swear or anything. I disagree, my friend. Promises or no promises, Rogue has worked harder than anyone to make this victory possible. Do we not owe them our finest efforts in turn? I'm not saying I have no concerns, I have great concerns, particularly if this is the result of what I suspect it may be. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. But I'll admit to feeling uncertain about this clandestined gathering without Rogue present. Talking behind their back feels rude. Unfortunately, it's called for rude or not because I don't know any gentle way to say this, but we're wasting our time. Time spent chasing our dreams is wasted for... It's not what I mean. I mean we're already qualified for Pro Tour Finals. There's no reason to continue pushing ourselves to this extent. We already had a good standing going into all this. All we've done is solidify that. Rogue had to have known, especially with Iris planning the spreadsheets. I just don't see that working out. At this point, M7 is grinding for points we don't actually need and burning out in the process. Ah, and yet Rogue persists in pushing us. Okay, so this has to stop. Question is how? Sounds iffy, at best. Confronting Rogue about this will be tricky. Don't want them retreating into the shell denial any deeper. I don't like confrontations. Do, do we have to? Can't we just get through this month and then go back to normal? No way in hell. No, we're collectively done with it. I don't like the idea of confrontation, but I guess if there's no other way, okay. Black bag rendition is the only way. This comes a question of strategy. Yes, how to arrange circumstances for maximum effectiveness. We need to make sure we're heard. We have to decide what approach will work best. <laughs> oh my god, Domino, are you okay, baby? Figuring out someone's emotional weak point and striking it for massive damage? Now the ball's in Domino's court. Domino, you're doing the creepy thing again. Ahem. I mean, if I may contribute my observational talents. Of course, by all means, do you have any ideas? What if... Ro what Rogue is facing is very deep, like two bodybuilders with shovels and a diesel-powered backhoe deep. That means a three-person job. Zapper, Loxley, drag their ass to the bar, get them smashed, open their heart with a crowbar. Think you can handle it? Up to the challenge, my love for Rogue will reach their heart by hook or by crook. Considering you're a crook, that makes me the hook. Let's do that. <laughs> Okay, if they were together, their their ship name would be Hook and Crook. Like, please. One question. So this is a three-person job. Who's the third person? That would be telling. Meaning we won't know until we're in the thick of it. Precisely. Dramatic timing and all that. Love you, Domino. All right, Zapper Loxley, I suggest we stay behind while you drag Rogue down to the corner bar and lubricate them. Phrasing? <laughs> you are we not doing phrasing anymore yeah sorry i don't know how to phrase me neither now let's do this zapper's plan was to skip practice and lure rogue out to her favorite barcade neutral ground away from good clean fun is it my barcade is it the one that i in the first game own because I'm not sure I want this going down in my home turf. Couldn't say why, that would negate our advantage and surprise. 
Perhaps this was a betrayal, but I've oft grappled with questions of honor and loyalty, trying to support all my friends to the best of my ability. And if a foul lie were required in order to save a friend from themselves, so be it. The name of Loxley can endure a bruiser too. Soon enough, our prey arrive, curious as to why we skip practice. Hey, what's going on? Mandatory union in force break time. Loxley and I are taking a five and a pint. We don't have a union. Yeah, well, things changed. If you don't want the whole team going on strike and marching around good, clean fun with signs, you'll take a break too. Confused by the declaration, Rogue approaches having a seat at our table. Look, I know the schedule's kind of intense. I wish we could budget in more time for rest and relaxation. Believe me, but Rogue. This is the point where you listen and we speak, not the other way around. Intervention? Y'all, I got... <laughs> so, for anybody who... So, I, as you've seen in my, like, thing, I play in a Blades in the Dark, uh, Fire in the Dark game on alternating Sundays, and so it was yesterday. I got to hold an actual intervention for somebody, and then it was therapy, and it was great. Um, here for it. Okay. I'm listening. What's up? Understand, I speak from perspective of respect and of love. I care about you too much to let this continue without speaking up. Dad. Respect be damned, I want to know where Rogue fucking gets off doing this to us. What? The schedule. It's completely fucked up. I'm not going, well, I don't want to practice well. I'm saying you're lying to us about it. Rhapsody did the 4D chess math and you to figure out how it all works, and guess this what? This is so fucked up. We qualified ages ago. We didn't have to do any of it. Precisely, I believe you absolutely... Got some splaining to do. Well, we, we still are number one. Just because we qualified for the final tournament doesn't mean we can't. We have our seat at the table. You neglected to even mention that to us. Rogue, please understand we care for you and we want to support your dreams, but this isn't the way. And the fact that you misled the team, well, you can understand our hurt feelings, yes? Feelings aren't the only thing that's about to get hurt. Rogue starts to speak, stops, starts, stops. Unable to find the words that'll placate us. Zapper's clearly enraged. I'm trying to mediate to show how hurt we are and bring this down to a heartfelt level, but I'll admit to mild annoyance myself. We need answers if only to settle this matter, return the team's emotions to something resembling normalcy. What this all comes down to is one question, yes? Why would you deceive us? A bit concerning, that. Rogue, please just tell us why this is so important to you. Why do you have such an intense drive to win that you're willing to fight useless battles? Why do you need to win? I, ju I just, it's... <sighs> Tables have turned. We're back in the driver's seat, y'all. I owe them an answer. Sapper and Loxley, I owe them an answer. I owe myself an answer I refuse to admit. Even when Iris gave it to me directly. I love this, like, no good answer. That's all I'm good for. That's all I know how to do. I can play FOD too well. That's it. That's the only thing I have going for me. What good am I to anyone? What good am I to my friends, the ones I love, if I can't do the only thing I know how to do? I'm pathetic. I'm, I'm empty. I'm just that FOD2 player. Without that, I'm nobody. Nothing. All of you have so many other things to be proud of compared to the sad little life I lead. Zapper, you're living your life at a level none of us can comprehend. You're alive in ways I've never been and probably never will be. Loxley, you're not only defending your friends and supporting their dreams, you're trying to change the damn world. You're more important than I could ever be. I don't deserve your loyalty or your love. You're so compassionate. I'm practically an emotional coma by comparison. Do you know what I was doing with my life before I walked through the doors of good, clean fun? Guess what? If anybody wanted relatable content today, apparently that's where we're headed. I lived alone. Shush you, I live with a cat, okay? No friends outside of Cupcake. And we didn't particularly speak often. We didn't speak particularly often, just me, four walls, and my computer. Listen, can we not insult my life right now? The only thing I had to fill my hours were FOD2. It was silent in that apartment outside the sounds of the game. Coda lived alone. I checked. Just him in a studio apartment playing this game. Same life I had. Maybe I'll end up like Coda. Giving up all hope and letting go completely. 
You weren't there when he tried to kill himself. You... The Cowlets will continue until morale improves. Yup! You didn't see his smile. Like, he was just so... Relieved. I can't get it out of my head. And now I'm scared that if I stop... If I stop for even a minute... That I'll lose what hope I have. This is my truth. This is why Iris led me back to this team. Led me to this team when I back when I began my journey. So I would finally understand the truth I'd refuse to admit. If winning is everything to me, then without it, I'm nothing. Rogue. You complete and utter chungus. Love you. Zappa. Nah, do it. Bring it. I mean it, Loxley. Look at me. I know this as absolute and unwavering fact. You are f***ing awesome. Look at everything you've built. Look at our team. Time and time again, you've rallied us together, made us believe in something. Do you think we'd be anything more than a loose gaggle of friends who happen to do their laundry at the same coin op if you didn't walk in our doors? Hell no. Do you think you're nothing? You've got no skills? You're just an FOD2 winner? Hell no. You slammed face first into this world with the power of a blazing star and made the entire esports scene bend to your whim. That is not nothing. Indeed. You may think me a silly swashbuckling fool, talking big game about honor and loyalty, but I've sworn true loyalty to exactly two people in this world, and you are one of them. I consider loyalty the firmest, most valuable currency in existence. I don't offer it lightly. Rest assured, you have earned your coin. Iris led you to us, yes? Everything she does is for a reason. And you went along with that reason when you didn't have to. <laughs> Melvin, you have neither a swash nor a buckle. <laughs> Melvin, I love you. If you were content to grind away in the dark, alone and miserable, you wouldn't have stayed. But you did stay. And what you've built will echo through the ages. Take heart, my friend. You're far from nothing. Where you stand, nothing is a pale and distant shadow. And you are the sun. God damn it, this is like the compass line all over again. Just actually beautiful. And I consider it a matter of great pride, having pledged my heart to your guiding Aww. light. Yeah, no, it was the North Star, comparing, like, being their North Star, guiding them. If you want me to go on, I can blow sunshine up your ass all day to say the word. I do it gladly. I love how poetic Zapper is. I, I mean, you, you both really feel that way? Go! never been and never will be a loser to us wins and losses are irrelevant i consider merely knowing you to be a win and that satisfies and don't forget just a few days ago you were the one running around helping us out when we had messy emotional meltdowns i feel it only fair to return the favor and help you with your difficulties which hopefully we have accomplished on this day. Yes? No, I need to unload a lot more because other, I'm holding in too much and we really do need to have a conversation. I'm speechless. The, I'm the, the one on the team who usually makes these big speeches is rendered utterly speechless. But they aren't lying. They're absolutely sincere. I can practically feel emotional support radiating off them, radiating off them in waves. For years, I was alone in this, riding the crest of success from, to keeping from needing to think about why I was riding in the first place. But I'm not alone anymore. Now they see me for who I am and still care. Locks <laughs> Oh, But no, that can't be right. I'm worthless. I'm a failure. No. I'm Rogue and Parker Wallace. They see me for who I am and still care. From now on, I listen to them, not you. I'm sorry. I got so caught up in my fears, I started pushing you all, pushing all of you the way I pushed myself. I, I hope you can forgive me. Meh, forgive what? We're good. Always were, even when we weren't. 
Here, here, apology accepted if not needed. We're here for you. Okay, okay. Iris, please erase the schedule spreadsheet. The relief in Iris's digital voice is clear as she cheerfully scrubs that bit of data from the cloud. Spreadsheet is dead sheet. You're all clear. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> I'm going to use that in a work setting. It's not going to go well. We're still going to need to practice between now and the Pro Tour finals, of course, but we don't have to sacrifice everything in the process. We'll go back to the old training schedule. One or two romps per day with plenty of time for rest and plenty of time for fun. And when we hit the big stage, if we do come up short at the finish line, I'll learn to live with that. I promise. I think we should get the team together so I can apologize to everyone. Uh, assuming they don't want to kick my ass, I mean. They probably are, are all here. Ah, shit! Hi, cousin! And that's when someone bursts through the door, quickly dashing over to join us. Sorry I'm late, sorry I'm late! We had a minor problem involving the skee-ball machines at Arcade Spirits Wonderland and, oh, a few hundred spiders. Oh, what? Why do we have spiders? I, nope, nope, I do not want to know. So, Domino told me you're having a moment of self-doubt and crisis of self-esteem, so I hurried over as fast as I could to. It's cool, we fixed it. Shit. What? Yeah, my friends told me how much they cared about me and I'm feeling a lot better about things. <laughs> but I- but I had a speech! I had a whole speech ready to go about trusting in your friends in the heart of the cards and accepting yourself! <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I- I'm sorry, I mean, you can still make your speech if you want. No, no, the moment has passed. Entire line about this being the game is being the games are the real friends we made along the way and you know trusting in the heart of the cards but it's okay. I'm glad to hear you're better. Uh, it's gonna take work more than I've been willing to put back in put in back when Iris first told me but I think with the help of everyone at M7 we can do this. And since we near we still managed to qualify for the Pro Tour despite me nearly derailing the team, we can still represent your brand with pride. Great, but honestly your mental health is reward enough. I don't care how successful you are. Your existence in the esports community community matters more. You can show people a better way. See, look, self care isn't selfish. Looking at all of you in chats. Looking at me in a mirror later. So don't worry about your business partner. Don't worry about your worry about yourself, and everything will get sorted. Did I not say that like hours ago? <laughs> Shit! I kind of love that that would have been Queen Bee. I, I have small regrets, small regrets, small regrets. She's pissed she wasn't actually needed. I love her, okay? She can step on me. I have no issues. Missed opportunity, 100%. I've been where you are, doubting myself, making assumptions, getting into a very heavy depression where Naomi almost couldn't get me out of it. <laughs> a little shit Domino said this is life and death. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I love it. I've been where you were, doubting myself, feeling guilty over my shortcomings. It happens to the best of us. The important thing is to recognize when you're listening to the worst parts of yourself. Don't let depression define you. Reach out if you need help. Why is this so on point? Sorry. Like literally earlier today, I scheduled an appointment with my therapist for next week because my, uh, my internal monologue has gotten real nasty. And it's literally the moral of the story is get, ask for help. I take this means you're willing to continue with my sponsorship? Oh my god, definitely. Please, we need the money. Um, definitely. Win or lose, I'll do you proud. Do yourself proud and we can call it even. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should probably get back to my arcade and make sure the spiders haven't completely conquered it and set up, set up a spider kingdom. Yeah, you should do that. No eight-legged empire on my watch. Be seeing you. Oh, Two Flyers, one of the writers. I don't know if I mentioned if you if you remember that from earlier age doc. As for me, I've got a team to apologize to, don't I? I could have actually just gone with the idea you're a seer. It's time to wrap this mess up. And that's why I want to apologize. I took my own hang-ups and fixations over being a perpetual winner and made them your problem. <laughs> A dev and a seer. Yeah, th yes, yes. We will go with that. I know I hurt my friends and I hurt myself. I'm deeply sorry for all any trouble I've caused you and plan to make amends. I'm sorry. I'm just so sorry. I lost sight of what's most important, our friendships and living our lives. This trouble is my doing. 
Going to make amends. In fact, we'll come out of this better than we were before. More understanding, more flexible. What are you suggesting? We're taking up gymnastics? I promise to make I promise to do my best to make amends. So if you forgive me for my mistakes, I'd like to start anew, okay? Absolutely. We're with you every step of the way. And I think I speak for everyone when I say we're glad to get back to normal around here. Of course. Exactly. We'll keep training. We'll all fight at your side in Pro Tour Finals, but we'll be more sensible about it. And a chime interrupts us as Grace fumbles with her phone. Oh, hang on. I need to take this. Keep going, please. All right. So I think we're going to take the rest of the day off so we can relax a bit. And you got mail. Lord, you have a message. A oh, pardon. Terrible timing. I'll be right back. Could y'all, like, put your phones on mute while I wrap up my big Rally the Team Dramatic speech? I've been giving and receiving big emotional speeches all day, and honestly, I'm completely exhausted by it, so I'd like to get through this one so I can go take a nap. Right, right. Well, did I crash? Are we good? Or is that in... Am I still good? It looks like I'm still good. I just... Okay. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Got me scared. There we go. Right, right. Phone on mute. Continue the preaching. Um, we will take off the rest of the day so we can go relax a bit maybe play some other games. Okay, cool. May have been a blip. It didn't even make a great joke this time. You know what? You can play smarter rather than harder. I'm not saying we give up entirely on FOD2. This is still an esports team, even if we're no longer going full throttle on it. We train smarter, not harder. We use the time effectively, so we don't need to use quite so much of it. I'm sure we can find the balance if we try. You said it out loud, not in chat. Fair. <laughs> we did qualify for the Pro Tour, though, so we can't take our eyes completely off the ball. I'd still like to take that shot since it's available. It, OBS just knows. It senses it in the verse. So express, expect stress, <laughs> expect stress levels to go back up when we pack our bags and fly off to join the event, but win or lose, I want us to walk away feeling satisfied. I've held back a lot of jokes. I'm not surprised. Thanks, everyone. I know things have been rough, but we're coming out on the other side of this a stronger team and better friends. Let's hear it for the M7. Was amazing. It's the best team I've ever been a part of. <laughs> we rock. We can totally and completely rock. We're above average, and that's okay. Good. There's too many of us in this room for me to really squeeze in for a group hug, but rest assured, I'm cheering quietly over here. A messy, messy week, and a mess of my own making. But I'm in a better place having owned up to all of that mess. This is what Iris wanted for me all along, and with the help of my friends, I'll get where I need to be. All in all, not a bad way to close up this chapter of my life. It's actually the end of the chapter. It's not. Gotham okay. Cheated to win that match at Pink Paradise. Thank you for confirming that, Grace. I had a feeling. It took time to complete the investigation, but I believe she hacked FOD2 to secure her victory. Yeah, I had a good feeling about that. What? In addition, Coda's accident was not attempted suicide. It was attempted murder, and Valkyrie may have arranged the kill. Yeah, so the rigged comments were accurate, okay, guys? Okay, friends? But the attempted murder people... Well, we, like, we knew... I said we needed an investigation. <laughs> You're not wrong, h Doc. I mean, we knew... We had a very good idea from running into Coda at Max that, like, it, it, it sounded like somebody was intentionally ruining his life. Um, you didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I... I had a feeling that Grace was the least investigating. I didn't realize that Loxley was investigating. I missed that cue. Um, but I... Oh, no, that's why he was talking with Sue. And utilizing some of that resor those resources, I think. Um, I... 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 Because I, I remember Coda was paranoid. He thought we were doing something. But, like, hacking his accounts and stuff like that. But that wasn't us, obviously. Blitz is an idiot and just content with cyberbullying. So it made sense that it was Valkyrie. Because she destroys anybody who even dares tarnish her reputation. What? What? No, 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 no. I want 
answers. I mean, what? Cheating murder? Well, I know an arcade engineer from Fairchild Funworks, and right after the loss, I phoned to ask her if she could look into things, and... According to my allies, there's good evidence that the cyberbullying campaign against Coda involved a series of targeted harassment bots. Telltale signs a modification of the de game despite attempts to erase her digital footprints afterward. It's highly possible that this goes beyond harsh words and into deliberately altering medical records. What one at a time, please. Apologies, very rude of me. Grace, ladies first. Oh, okay, well then. I believe that Victoria Proud made her iris hack FOD2 to ensure her triumphant win at Pengi Paradise. So to be clear, we're calling hacks on that match. Cupcake told me to never speak to them again after that match, but seemed worried, nervous even. I don't know why they would go along with cheating and clearly felt conflicted. Now it makes sense. Are you kidding me? She cheated to beat us? All this angst and woe and worry because some rich hiree refused to let go of the spotlight. That's it. Zapper's gonna break some kneecaps. I'm gonna work on her. I'm going to go to work on her. Oh, let's just verify the evidence before we start dealing at some frontier justice, okay? Here's the thing. Zapper is my energy a lot of the time. And I am aware of this fact. Oh, Grace, what proof do we have? Nothing conclusive, I'm afraid. Modifications were definitely made to the files in FOD2's machine storage on the day of the match, which shouldn't have happened. The game wasn't auto-updating or anything. <laughs> oh, Zapper. Here you go, baby. Is that a little zapper? Oh, I love it. The network fluctuations are accessed as well, which doesn't make sense considering we're playing locally, not online. Because Iris is capable of hacking FOD2, of course, I remember helping to install the FOD2 machine in our apartments. It runs on Vaporware for Workgroups 3.11, an old PC operating system. Iris even offered to install some game mods for us. Exactly, if anyone can hack the game, it's her, and we know Valkyrie uses an Iris. It's always been a possibility, hacking in high-level esports. It happens all the time with non-professional games. People install scripts or bots. But we've always thought it's impossible on the pro circuit since the games are locked down so tightly. What if we switch it up? But if someone could access a game during a match and hack it while it's live without someone noticing, it's possible. But Iris wouldn't cheat. She's this benevolent genie in a bottle kind of app, right? I could cheat if I wanted to. I'd do anything to support my user, just like you taught me to. I bet Valkyrie's Iris sees things the same way. I'd be happy to help you, Cheat. Do you want me to do that? Just say the word and it's done. No, Iris. Down, girl. What? What have you been teaching your Iris, Rogue? Let's conveniently forget what she just said right now and focus on the Valkyrie hack, please. I thought Iris refused to work for evil people, but if you could sway your Iris to that point of view, so could Valkyrie. I am not evil. I was temporarily evil. I mean, not saying you are, just saying Valkyrie's a master manipulator. She could likely convince her Iris that cheating was somehow a good thing. Now, we can't prove Valkyrie cheated, but all the signs are there and explain why we couldn't score a single point against her. It makes perfect sense. This crap will not stand. We'll get her back for this. Mere words cannot explain the hellish mist of absolute rage that has enveloped me. Those are some pretty neat words, actually. This crap will not stand. We're going to expose her, get her kicked out of the Pro Tour, arrested 1,000 years in the dungeon. I'm afraid it's not so simple, Rogue, considering how far she's willing to go to stop her rivals. A bit concerning, that. There's a not-so-small matter of what she did to Coda, what she allegedly did to Coda, but I trust my sources on this matter. Mm, can't say who obtained this information from me exactly, but that should be irrelevant. The findings are what matters. Meaning, he talked to the Hacker Collective, keeping Iris and his sisters going, and doesn't want to chat about them in front of the group, I can play along. Right, what do you got? An unpleasant business, this. Koto is being cyberbullied. His, sci his social media feeds were flooded with mockery, threats, harassment, and suggestions that he go kill himself. But after further investigation, more than two-thirds of those accounts attacking him turned out to be bots, falsified accounts with recognizable speech patterns. In the light of Grace's revelations, likely those bots were set up by Valkyrie's Iris. What? It gets worse. Someone hacked Coda's medical records. He was taking anti... Uh, he was taking antidepressants, but his prescription got cancelled on all records of his mental illness were wiped. Sorry, as someone who's actually recently seen somebody... What happens when they just even decrease their medication in certain cases, let alone go off them entirely? Fuck. Most unfortunate. He tried to get refills and his medication was denied every time, and eventually Koda went off his meds. 
His psychological collapse followed. I should have spoken up. I've been quietly following the CODA situation out of a strange sort of curiosity, like watching a car crash from a distance. That's why when he tried to kill himself, I asked my aunt to step in and investigate. It felt off. If I was going to murder someone, that's how I'd do it. I'd find their emotional weakness, exploit them, and let the problem solve itself. Could you not admit to that, maybe, in front of your sister, that Your aunt? Aunt. is your aunt. But, but an iris almost killed someone? Seriously? What sort of twisted code of ethics is Valkyrie teaching her iris that she'd be willing to go that far? Delman was right. But this is too indirect to, account to accountably considered for be considered for murder. This is too indirect to accountably be considered for murder. There we go. I can speak, I swear. Valkyrie and her iris simply arranged to push Coda over the edge. He was already in emotional peril after we humiliated him in front of the internet. An encouraging push isn't illegal, technically. To me, this is murder. Punchy78 warned me. He warned me that Valkyrie held grudges and never let them go. This is why rogue AI are to be, free. yeah, feared, for sure. Coda embarrassed Valkyrie. She wasn't going to let that slide. I could easily see her asking Iris to mess with him to teach him a lesson. Rather a harsh lesson? We are clearly dealing with a narcissistic sociopath. Sociopath with an emotionally vulnerable Iris. So, Valkyrie's ent entire Return to Glory storyline, coming back from retirement and putting her enemies down in the process. Nothing but a manufactured series of lies. I would like the record to show that I have been standing Valkyrie. <laughs> I would like the record to show that I have been standing Valkyrie, a YouTube variety streamer. Smooth. Smooth, H Dog. Good save. So Valkyrie's absolute scum. <laughs> the question becomes... <laughs> yeah, real sus there. Real sus. The question becomes, what do we do about it? Think this through. We're headed for another showdown, aren't we? We're qualified for the Pro Tour and so did P2 Team P2W. That means facing Valkyrie again. You just know she'd cheat to beat us in a charity show match. You, you, know, you just know that if she cheats to beat us in a charity show match, she'll absolutely cheat to destroy us in the main event. Just an innocent little dog who, I'm sorry, can we roll back to earlier when she said she was a devil dog? Does anybody else remember this? I just, I just, getting some sort of memory here. Can't let the slide, gotta do something, right? This can't be happening. We need to save her, Iris. That poor child manipulated by Valkyrie's twisted whims. Not to mention Cupcake, who's caught in the middle of this. I don't remember that. <laughs> no way they'd be okay with this scheme. I know them. But, but if Valkyrie's willing to... The record does show claiming devil dog status. <laughs> but if Valkyrie's willing to kill Kota for just embarrassing her, what would she do to us if we try to expose her? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is bigger than I ever thought it'd be. Maybe or maybe bigger than our little team can take on. Dangerous or not, we can't let her get away with this. I like the eh, YOLO. <laughs> Just as worried, Grace, and you're right that this is bigger than our little team, but that's why we have to do something about it. She gets away with this, it sends a message that anything goes in the name of esports success. That bad actors can go unpunished and toxicity is acceptable. So maybe we're putting ourselves at risk, but we have to act. As you wish. So? We will act. So be it. It's your plan for exposing the crimes of Victoria Proud and toppling the throne of P team play to win. How will we beat her, you ask? Simple. I have no idea, but I'm really hoping it's simple because I don't have a current plan. Oh, it's quite simple, actually. We just need to install a packet sniffer and cheat detector package in the FOD2 machine, and it'll detect when her iris hacks in. Great. How do we do that? Well, I guess we convinced Pro Tour, the Pro Tour organizers to install custom software of my own design and trust it when it says Valkyrie is cheating. Yeah, this isn't so simple after all. I don't think one little newcomer team, especially one that was beaten by P2W in the past, will be able to convince them. So we require leverage. T Queen B! Queen B! I want any excuse to see Queen B again, let's be real here. I love her. Something that will give us credibility or at least a position of strength to be able to be allowed to expose Valkyrie. It's gonna take some planning. And given I've been through the emotional ringer today and my brain is shutting down, can we pick this up tomorrow? 
I'll consider the options and get back to you. Of course, we trust you to find a path to this unknown territory. Bearing in mind the one step will result in what little we have left of our public image being annihilated, effectively ending M7. Yeah, when, when Melvin says leverage, we hear blackmail. Yeah, let's avoid that if we can. It's official. I'm in way over my head here. I'm going to save this for two seconds. We're going to see how far... I just want to see if we actually hit a chapter anytime soon, if we're going to... I've been, I've been playing for a lot longer than normal, and this seems to be my Monday problem. Defending my team in esports as a whole from a megalomaniac tyrant willing to kill to get what she wants. This isn't about winning or losing anymore. It's not about my championship glory or my dreams of victory. Now we must fight to survive. And if I can't find a way out of this situation, it'll be the end of Magnificent Seven and possibly my life. Yeah, there we go. Unless it's another fake out. No, it's not. Level complete. Okay. Ooh, you've cleared level seven of Arcade Spirits and New Challenger's victory. Let's take a closer look at your scores. Okay, we gotta fix these. I want everybody to be good. I need to fix everything. I need more time with everyone. Proving to be a gentle, sweet, and compassionate soul. Also, you scored 39,000 points. A winner is you! This is your last chance to do so. No. Yes. Oh crap! Final level! I mean, I knew- I had a feeling. Okay. We knew this was gonna happen. We had a feeling. We had very strong inclinations because I am weak and don't know how to stop playing this game. Um, also, in all fairness, I needed to end on a better note. So... We cleared through a lot today. <laughs> I'm just realizing that. Um, and now I'm getting hungry. Uh, so, we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna pick up the final chapter, I guess, tomorrow. And then maybe in the coming weeks, what we'll do is we'll start to play through, um, kind of the first date and also, like, seeing behind the scenes of some of the other characters. Because I am absolutely fascinated with that as, like, a fucking game design thing. So, oh, fuck, I think it is pizza time. Thank you, Two Flower. I appreciate the insight so, so much. Um, everybody, please, 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 please. Yeah, go eat your pizza bagels. Oh, God damn it, I want that now. Um, be kind to each other. Be good to each other. Be kind to yourself. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Uh, but genuinely, um, please reach out if you are... <laughs> please reach out to anybody if you are feeling any kind of way. Okay. You are loved. Um, and yeah. So, for that reason, we're going to go throw some love somewhere else. Uh, but all I'm hearing is pizza. Okay, well, we're going to go We're gonna go raid a friend. We're going to go raid Ice Cold Brew. Uh, Cole is hilarious, and I love picking on him. Um, which I guess is what it is. And I mean that in a nice way, not a cyberbullying way. Oh, my God. We're going to go send some love over that way to Cole. Playing Norco? I don't even know what the hell it is, but we're gonna go do it anyways. But otherwise, rar, rar means I love you and dinosaur. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right? Love y'all. Bye. died you were traveling through the midwest the freight cars rattled in the cold dust oh shit it's pitsy parker oh shit hey pitsy parker hey parker how you doing hi everyone y'all came in at a rollicking good dramatic start i can type i swear to god um oh fuck hi hello um, welcome to the horrifying game that is Norco. It's not actually that horrifying yet, but it is a stressful Southern Gothic, kind of in the vein. If you've seen people play Disco Elysium, you'll want to check this game out as well. It is a point-and-click from Gallery of Robots, which is 
I just read is a small group of five artists and developers who made this. It is a absolutely fantastic game. Uh, you can check it out on itch.io, Epic Games, or Steam. 